Happy birthday, Internet. Go celebrate your quarter centennial by posting old memes, watching porn, and posting stupid comments on YouTube. Us? We're going to have us another episode of Groupcast. It's the Groupcast Podcast, a show about stuff like stupid jokes and Charlie folks and random ass topics with Casey Wes and special guests like Brett and Danny Kyle, Riley Lennon's there too. This is their theme song, it's pretty cool. Just don't ask Wes to sing the rest because he'll forget the words of sit right down and gather round, but not too close because they were so ugly that everyone died. <clears throat> Podcast. Welcome back to Groupcast, everybody! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, we're here! Whoa! Hey, how's it going? Hey. 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 As always, I'm Big West. Connor's here. I'm Connor. And Casey. I'm that guy. Kyle. I'm back. <laughs> Did you saddle, ever leave? In the saddle again? <laughs> you never left! I, I, I leave occasionally. As, 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 we, as we, we stated last week, lived like 10 feet that direction 10 feet behind me so yeah I'm always watching you're a whole first goal away always watching first down away <laughs> you're a whole first down away I said first goal it shows what I know about football but more than me so so yeah. commend yourself on that um, yeah alright so so I think that the ultimate goal of ministers is not to preach the word of the Bible, mm-hmm. but to put as many syllables in amen as they possibly can. Makes sense. Amen. Can I get an amen-a-na? <laughs> an amen An amen Can I get an amen please? <laughs> <laughs> can, can I get an order of fries with mayonnaise on the side, please? <laughs> Apparently they eat that shit in Europe all the time. Yeah. So I've been told. Mayonnaise on fries? They, they, use, they substitute mayonnaise for ketchup. Well, it's not it's not fries, it's chips. Uh, no, well, that's, that's well, only in the UK. Well, yeah. still. Yeah. Still! And then chips, as we know them, are crisps. I thought they were cookies. No, it's in, in, Shrimp in, in, in Australia is prawns. Prawns. Yeah. The crust of the prawns, they're called crisps. Yeah, it, uh, cookies in Britain are called biscuits. I don't know what biscuits are in the UK, though. Then I would always have a, a, a fluffy dough lumps. <laughs> <laughs> fluffy dough lumps. Excuse me, Baker. Can I have a dozen fluffy dough lumps? You know, I was in that band, Fluffy Dough Lumps. Really? What was your hit song? Uh, bacon and Baked. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good song from the seventies. Oh, uh, yeah, we were at the top charts for about thirty-eight theaters. Thirty minutes. Thirty-eight theaters. Thirty-eight theaters. <laughs> it's, 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 it's in Granny's book. Just, it's, just trust me. What was our measurement last week that that you came up with? Beardsworth? Yes. A, a Beardsworth. That also sounds like a last name. Yeah. Franklin Beardsworth. Beardsworth Longfat. No, no, it needs to be a Beardsworth. A Beardsworth. A Beardsworth. How so much is one Beardsworth? As much as a beard can hold. But beards are variant. What's it measure on? Ask him. He's the one that came up with it. I wasn't here. What is it? it? It's probably volume. There. I don't think you could use it for much else. I, I made a video uh, a little bit ago on my Stuff You've Probably Wondered channel mm-hmm. in which I talk about various bizarre measurements. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think the best joke I made in it was there was this thing called a firkin, which is like an ancient yeah. unit of, of measurement, which is basically just nine gallons. Mm-hmm. And I was like, it's nine gallons, which is, I think, the amount of an Irishman can drink before he starts feeling tipsy. <laughs> Makes sense. I also talked about, like, I went through uh, ten of them. It was like a top ten list. And, ten uh, firkins? Oh, my God. Ten firkins? <laughs> <laughs> That's 90 gallons. How many shillings did that cost you? <laughs> How many half farthings? That's a lot of firkin gallons. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Actually, Best part of the day, folks. I think uh, a shilling is 20 pence. No, 20 shillings is one pence. I can't figure out conversion at all. That's how because it used to be. It, it was America is extremely ignorant. It I know. was it was shillings, pence, and pounds. I I downloaded a uh, currency converter on oh, my yeah. phone just for when I watch BBC Top Gear. Okay. When they say, "Oh, this car cost twenty eight hundred quid." Yeah, quid <laughs> <Quid, laughs> is the same as pounds. Yeah, so I've noticed because I, it's I weird because they're both one syllable. Yeah, like why is that? I don't, why would I don't you? Know. 
Why would you use another name for a name when they're both the same? But like there was there was one there was one thing. Well, we're we're extremely ignorant. You don't say like, oh, I have twenty cash in my pocket. But uh, the thing the thing that I'm I'm caught up on there was one thing where where Jeremy was filling up his car uh, with petrol, and it was like. 18 pounds, 4 quid, and 6 pence. I'm like, what the hell is that? So I Google it, and there's nothing in Google. Like, Google was like, shit so, that head. So, wait, quid is not the same as pounds? I have no idea. I thought they were the same. I, honest to God, I have no idea. I, I, re- I realized watching a lot of American stuff, as American is ignorant, as we have all learned today, because yes. I've said it like three times now, yeah. um, when, when gangsters like, that'll be 20 big ones or 20 large, that usually refers to thousands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you refer to smaller bills? I don't think you could be a gangster poor man. <laughs> Yo, I would like to buy something that's like five teensy weensy ones. <laughs> five tiny ones. Can I get me a Big Mac for ta- for five puny dollars, please? <laughs> for tiny. You hand him like a tiny dollar bill. Yeah. Because they use big ones for thousands. Well, there's things that come before thousands. There's that's, hundreds, what there's tens, that's what there's I want fives, food stamps. To, I want food stamps to be tiny dollar bills. That would be great. That would be so funny. That would be great. So. <laughs> Meanwhile, it keeps going out. Kyle's being oh a gentleman. I'm, I'm bad at this. Yeah. Smoke rings. Um, smoke rings. So seriously, what the hell is up with this weather? I don't know. I was going to talk about it too. Wait for Monday. Monday, Monday and Tuesday. I'm talking about last, last week. week. Monday and Tuesday, it was really nice. It was sunny. It was like 50, mid, like mid 50s. Um, it actually got, it almost got to 70 on Tuesday, I think. Yeah. Wednesday, it rained all day. Well, I was in Hershey. It, it only rained for like 45 minutes. Yeah, I was like, in Millersville. It didn't rain at all. <laughs> It I was, was in like, my room. I couldn't tell. It was really <laughs> nice all day. Didn't rain there either. It was. I hope it didn't rain today. <laughs> I hope so. Too. That's not rain. Otherwise, you would have been really depressed. Yeah. <laughs> That's why there was a cloud in there. Yeah. But like, it only rained for forty-five minutes, and it was like really nice all day. And everyone's like, "Oh, was it supposed to rain?" And like at two o'clock, it's whoa! And it's like it's like someone dumped a bucket over top of us for 45 minutes. You didn't even get the like one drip warning. Like, no, oh, I think it's gonna rain. No, one it's just drip, one whoosh. Drip. Ooh, yeah, it was like bucket. It, okay, and then Thursday it was just windy as dicks. Like it, we we had like there it is again. Yeah, as dicks. God's, yeah. Try, God's trying to show off your mother nature. Shut know. up. <laughs> hey, mother nature. Shut what up. Do you think of these? I, I I had I had to climb. 40 foot scaffolding okay. and I couldn't because I'm terrified of heights. And why are you in that job? Because no doing? one told me I had to climb scaffolding. Okay. So if you were to say to somebody like what's like what your the title of your job is, what would you say? I'm a glazer. That sounds very misleading. I know. I work I work with donuts. Do you, yeah. do you, do you work in a Bukaki film studio? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I I I no, set I set and install storefronts and and uh, window glass. Storefronts are like um, like in the mall or yeah. in hospitals, like the the aluminum. Uh, aluminum. Shut up. <laughs> hey, okay. you can make fun of me for saying words. I can make fun of you for yeah. saying words. Um, that could be the British term for aluminum. Maybe well, aluminum. Uh, aluminum. Yeah. yeah. But but that there. that frame and then the glass that goes in them. That's what I do. I'm currently working at, at uh, hopefully I'll be done at the end of the week, um, the uh, Penn Hershey Rehab Center. It's like two miles in this direction from Are you building Hershey it or Park. refurbishing it? Um, I'm not sure if it's an extension of the existing building yeah. or if it's a new building altogether, but apparently there's like 19 front entrances, oh. so I have no idea what's going on. That's So why just in case you get lost, you always have a way in. Yeah. Just like all my first dates. One way in, <laughs> no way out. I started saying that, and I can't stop. Yeah. It, it was, I, I, on my way home Wednesday, I I started thinking about, like, that, that one episode. Do you and, think it would be somewhat insensitive, just in the middle of sex, to thro- start throwing out movie quotes, like, one man enter, one man leave? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I should try that. Yeah. Well, but, under the thunder. <laughs> Stacy's over there, she's like, no. <laughs> She'll, she'll be gone. She'll be gone as soon as we say the word "coming." Yeah, that's true. Yeah, 
It doesn't have to be movie quotes either. It can just be any quote. Yeah. That'll just that'll just be weird. Yeah. The cheat. Give me that. <laughs> Give me that plate of French toast. But I was I was thinking Step about on a short round. I was thinking about that one episode. It was at your house that that I I couldn't stop talking like like a white Jay Z. Oh yeah, yeah. I had the hashtag swag yeah. shirt. Yeah. I'm glad that disappeared. No, I still have it. Just don't ever wear it. Please. It, it, I'm it, wearing it right now. It makes bad things happen to you. Yeah. <laughs> You're already loud and obnoxious enough. You don't need to <laughs> you don't need to pile that on. You're welcome. You know, people are afraid of you because of that. The hashtag swag shirt? Sure. No, just being you. Oh yeah, I know. I'm not afraid of that. That's that's what makes me me. If if I, I feel like if you can't get past that and, and you can't like get past just like this. Like it's not a front or anything. Like this is how I actually am. Yeah. If you can't get past that then we don't deserve to be friends. Right. Stacy used to be afraid of you. Now you could not. I was afraid of him for like five minutes. And then I was like, he's not so bad. Does does anyone remember you probably don't because I don't think you were around. Mm-hmm. Um Riley's first introduction to me. I wasn't there for that. It, it was I, I know he's, he's I met you at the first episode of Groovecast. Yes. That's how that's um going. it it was when I still had my galaxy. We were in the we were in the church parking lot. I was sitting we were sitting there, we were Oh, going, you, you did yeah. the, you did the blood pact. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it was it wasn't the blood pact. That oh, okay. was um I think that was after. Oh, okay. Um but we were going somewhere with Steve. May I see Steve? Yes. And and Riley gets out of his car and he walks over. I'm sitting in the front seat of my galaxy. I go, get in the back. <laughs> and he just gets in the back. <laughs> and and from then on, like like I I don't know, we we're like we're like best friends with a deep inner hatred for each other. Sounds about right. Yeah. The first time I met you was at the the first recording of Groovecast. We the the, the dead pilot. Yes. The dead pilot, the one that we didn't save because you're old. No, it, it did save. It just it saves just, just, the wrong way. Well, regardless, I just remember, like, I pulled into the church parking lot where we were going to do our recording. I, I got out, and you, like, zoomed in right in front of me in your Saturn, like, right beside me. And just Like, I pulled up slowly and just went, Wah! and you got out, and you're like, yeah! yeah. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> my, my first I know how this is going to go <laughs> that, uh, Two years later Two years later <laughs> Mine was uh, at Sarah's New Year's party Okay I uh, feel like it was here No, it was Sarah's New Year's party I didn't get to go to that Right, Riley No, Sarah invited me Because yeah. we were talking on the internet Yeah Seems like I only meet girls through the internet nowadays I met all You guys through the internet Yeah, me Not you But I uh, high school with you But I went Riley was going, so Riley took me up to the church. Mm-hmm. You took me, Riley, Jasmine, and Caitlin, Caitlin in my Saturn, in your Saturn, to Sarah's house. Mm-hmm. I didn't talk to you in the car because you, you were in the back. I, I was in the back, squished be- <clears throat> either between or to the side of both Jasmine and Caitlin. Yeah. I don't remember where I was because I'm in the back of a lot of cars. I shouldn't <laughs> be, but I. Am. <laughs> I don't know how you get me there. <laughs> But it's hard to it, get out. It just happens. Sneak just like all my first dates. But, I'm but, sorry, what? <laughs> 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 this would be a lot funnier if I was female. Yeah. Because the, the where I got this from, there's this Let's Player that I follow named Luca Jin. Mm-hmm. And that's that's what she does. Every every time like something is said, she just goes, oh, that's just like all my first dates. And I'm like, that's funny. I should start doing that. I'm kind of regretting it now. Yeah. <laughs> But we ended up at, at Sarah's party, and I was, and they were talking about doing a gift exchange. Yeah, I was the only one to bring a gift. I think I brought, I brought one for Ryan. Well, that's not an exchange. I give you air from my lungs. Well, I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I noticed there was a group chat that I put all of my blood, sweat, and tears into it, and Wes was already afraid of me that I was using <laughs> blood in a gift for everyone. <laughs> Apparently, I'm some sort of ritualistic shaman or world. I'm trying to curse you all <laughs> over over Sarah's apple pie. Which you shot with a Nerf gun from across <laughs> the I don't room. remember doing that. I remember doing it because I was pissed off. <laughs> I just remember remember watching Monty Python yeah. but, and, and the Nerf battles and all that yeah. fun stuff. But, where, uh, where we kept shooting all the all the darts behind the couch. Yeah. And we were just shooting the one dart back and forth to each other. Because we lost all the other ones. Yeah. So I was like, your turn, yeah. my turn. And then at like 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the morning, we're all sitting in the middle of her, her living room floor. 
Brian like gives me his phone. He's like, "Here, it's Urban Dictionary. Read shit." <laughs> so, okay. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't that one. It was um. Was it my movie in After Voice or was it? No, it was Sling Blade. Sling Blade. Yeah, I was. I was. I was reading. I was reading Urban Dictionary in Sling Blade voice for like an hour and a half, and then I had to take um. Caitlin and Jasmine home, and I almost fell asleep on the way back to my house after I drove them to the phone because it was like seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I don't remember how I met you. Um, Why are you looking at me? I'm looking at your hair. <laughs> your Ooh, hair doesn't look. Hair. Like... Stop it! I've been distracted. I've missed the past couple stories, but your hair—it doesn't look like it has a lot of like like gel and stuff in it. It doesn't. But it's, it's just but back. it's but it's staying there, and I'm trying to figure out how this from, happens. From you years can, of wearing a hat, is, um, is it just you, just a, you can a train dryer? your hair? I, I know imagine. it sounds retarded, but you can actually train your hair. <laughs> If you were to like gel spikes in your hair for uh-huh. years over time, your hair just naturally remembers that it should be up. DreamWorks. Drop How to Train Your Dragon and pick up How, how to, to Train, train Your Hair. hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it, it's like uh, the movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger where he was a weightlifter, the iron something. Iron. Only they do it with side. stylus. Every movie that Arnold Schwarzenegger's been in, the one where it was the. It's not a tumor. Yeah, it's <laughs> not a tumor. I love that movie. <laughs> Kindergarten Cop. That's what that one's from. Yeah. Okay. My my favorite Arnie movie is probably <laughs> Arnie. Um, like he's a good friend of yours. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> Arnie. <Lou. laughs> twins. <laughs> we got it's, it's probably twins. I saw that movie. Oh, was that the one with Danny DeVito? Uh, yeah, it, he he does that one and also Junior with Danny DeVito. But Twins is the funny one. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Junior's kind of weird. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger gets pregnant and he has to dress up as a woman. Oh yeah, yeah. That's creepy. Yeah, he is a very butch woman. Yeah. What was well, what obviously? Was, what was the one where he 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 wore the he wore the fake fat suit, um, the the fat lady suit, and they were in the subway and all the he he got found out by some by like the, true lies. I don't, no, no, no. I don't that. remember. I want to say Total Recall. But I, I'm pretty sure it's not Total Recall. No, I don't think so. But but they they find out that it's it's his whoever his character is, and the head of the fat lady just kind of like, and it's just like Arnold Schwarzenegger in a in a fat lady costume and a, a split fat lady's head. I don't remember that. I don't remember what it is. I I I, I looked it up. I, I looked up that scene and it's funny as shit. That's weird. Yeah. So Steve, or not Steven Seagal, fuck him. He's Steve like, Tyler. No, not him either. Yeah! He's got big lips. <laughs> um, Sylvester Stallone. Yeah. Is writing screenplays now. Is he really? Yes. I just watched the movie Homefront with Jason Statham in it, mm-hmm. where he's a former DEA and he moves to a small town with his daughter and it's Transporter Three. Practically. Um, <laughs> Transporter Seven. But yeah. the screenplay was written by Sylvester Stallone. Hmm. The movie is based off of a novel, and he just wrote the screenplay for it. So he needs to stop. Just <laughs> the movie the, was the movie was good. The script is just a bunch of slurring. So that's <laughs> <laughs> that's a terrible day for a woman. One <laughs> Sylvester, yes. But he needs to stop Sucker acting. Sucker and Taz. Him and Arnold need to stop acting. I let him write screenplays because the movie wasn't bad. That that like it, it was good. Even though it was based off a novel, it's easy it to It was go good, even though it was that. bad. Yeah, <laughs> but they need to stop acting. Sylvester Stallone, you could tell, is, like, cosmetically fixed up. Yeah. It's really bad. And Arnold just looks like every scene in Terminator where his Arnold. face starts to melt off. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like that permanently. <laughs> <laughs> One day he'll just be at a dinner party, and his skeleton will pop out because his face just slides just off. pop out of his face. Yeah. It's gonna happen. It's going <laughs> You heard it here, probably not first. Oh, man. You're just going to, like, see a news report. It's like, breaking news. Breaking Ar- news. Arnold Schwarzenegger just slid down a storm drain, and there's, like, like cell phone footage. It's on, like, this. <laughs> and, and it's Arnold Schwarzenegger just walking down the streets of Hollywood. All of a sudden, his, his skin just falls forward, slides down into, into the storm drain, and his skeleton is just standing there. And it's, what? I don't know pose, what's that. Pose, I don't know what's going on. Just like pose like mid jogger stance. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't even jogging before, but he sensed his skin was coming off, yeah. so he decided to pose. It's pretty cool. Sounds like a Sylvester Stallone screenplay. <laughs> it probably, it probably <laughs> is. 
They're in cahoots. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. drowning. <laughs> I found out something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I found out today that um, t- my two dogs are incredibly competitive. Are they? Like, um, we were out putting some stuff in the shed. Just found out today his dogs are dog-like. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> I, <laughs> I love that my dogs are dogs and not, like, marsupials. <laughs> Keeping their children we in their pouches. <laughs> we were, we were, were not a bandicoot slash a <laughs> Put that on screen, though. We, we were throwing the, the bone... This rubber bone that he likes back uh, to make him fetch it. And uh, my other dog, the smaller black one. <laughs> what? The smaller black one. How am I supposed to describe it? Do they have names, maybe? I just, I just, yeah, but if I if I just use their names, people will have no idea what I'm talking about. One of them is named after me. Oh, so really? my three one dogs, Loki, named- Pixie, and Brownie. Can you guess which one's the little one? The big one. Right. <laughs> Actually, you're right. <laughs> the, okay, I have a a lab slash pit bull mix named Weston, and I have a Springer Spaniel and uh, Border Collie mix named Baxter, named after the Baxter from Anchorman. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Carell. Oh, because Brick. Uh, oh no. I Will every, Ferrell. Every time. Will Ferrell. Steve, yeah. Stephen Carell is in the movie. He's he's Evan Baxter in Bruce and Evan Almighty. I fucking get confused by that all the time. Fuck you, whoever made them movies. People. Confusing the shit out of me. Probably Sylvester Stallone. He's coming closer. Yeah. Anyway. This is what you're talking about. Yeah, there it is. It's going to start raining now. Yeah, it's going to rain. Ah, oh, there's a bug. It's freaking, it's getting high. And a tan. <laughs> Welcome to Groupcast, where we get distracted by bugs and smoke. <laughs> anyway, I was I was uh, playing fetch with Weston. Yes. And Baxter, the smaller black one, Border Collie. <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> this is the smaller black one. Because you don't imagine a small black one? No. Okay. I'm sorry, you tried to explain the story like three times now. I'm never gonna, this is what happens when I'm talking to these <laughs> people. Sorry. I'm nice most I get, of the time. I get interrupted constantly. And what happens is when when they get competitive, Baxter will just like start growling and try to attack him while mm-hmm. he's he doesn't want to fetch the, the bone. He just wants to like be in with everything. Yeah. And when he growls it sounds like he's underwater drowning. <laughs> he just goes like <laughs> <laughs> Like he'll bark 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 <laughs> It's Donald Duck. Being, being, Donald. It's Donald, Donald Dog. Donald Dog. Donald Duck being killed by an outboard motor. We're just laughing. Oh my god. There's a redneck in a pontoon boat with a motor and he gets caught up in it. That was incredibly specific. <laughs> it's a duck in a pond. Who else is in a pond? Not Donald. He doesn't sit in ponds. He does now. He goes out and does things like apparently work for Nazis. Yeah. And not wear pants. <laughs> and not wear pants. <laughs> so, Huey, Dewey, and Louie are his nephews. Yes. Yes. Who is his brother slash sister? I um, don't know. It's that duck whore lady. <laughs> it's that duck whore. From, um, Robot Chicken. Okay. You don't watch Robot Chicken, do you? Occasionally? There, there was, there was a thing that they did. Um, uh, a guy called for an escort, and the escort was a half duck, half woman. Or, or rather, was it, was it the the Howard the Duck looking thing? Yeah, the, the, the yeah. duck with tits. Oh, yeah. that was so creepy. Yeah, and and Mila Kunis was the voice. Oh god. Yeah, and and at, at the end, like um, a cop shows up, like everybody eventually dies, and at of the, and at the end of it, is is Huey Dewey and Louie at, at their uncle Donald's house, while, just looking out the window like Uncle Donald, when is our mom coming home? Like <laughs> I don't know, boys, I don't know, and that's the end of the show. I like. Okay, I don't really like Family Guy that much. In fact, I kind of loathe it. Kind of. Uh, but one joke they made was really funny. They did a robot chicken joke. Mm-hmm. It was like Claymation, Peter and, and Chris sitting on the couch. And, like, a bunch of like characters walk in, and, mm-hmm. and Chris is like, oh, wow! Transformers, Thundercats, 
something, something. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. Those shows existed. Yeah. And, like, that's funny. It's funny because uh, Seth Green is Chris, and he's also yeah. one of the, the co-founders and, and what have you. Yeah, but I, I don't like Joker. Family Guy at all. Yeah. I want to know why they felt it necessary to put tits on a duck. Because, because Mila Kunis. No, the, the Howard the Duck movie. That show, that movie was terrible, I should point out. It was out. terrifying. It was terrifying and terrible. Like, I can understand a duck knowing martial arts, but why do you need to put tits on a duck? And they looked stoned the whole way through. It's a duck! They were just like, <laughs> <laughs> It's a duck! <laughs> because ducks are stoned all the time? Is that what you're implying? I'm Winfred Brindley, and I'm here to protest getting high with ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Winfred Bradley. <laughs> Pearl eyes. <laughs> I I found I don't remember if I, I talked about this last week or not. Um, talk about it. I might no, I it. didn't. I wanted to, but I forgot. I had I I on my way home from work, I stopped at Tractor Supply in Millsburg yeah. to get a bucket because we we carry all our tools in buckets on site. And you found a duck with tits. No, <laughs> apparently Tractor Supply sells uh, baby ducks and chickens, and the ducks are only five dollars. Yeah, and I want a duck so bad now. And Did I texted one. No, I didn't. Oh, I don't have anywhere to keep it. No. Um, but I, I in your duck cage. I, I immediately text Ryan. Put, put it in a ducket. <laughs> <laughs> I Isn't that a coin in like Belgium or something? <laughs> Is it a Belgium coin? It's called a ducket. I, 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 I think you're there was right. A, like D U C E T. Something think, like that. Honest to God, there is a, a foreign coin called a ducket. I think you're right. Google it. I'll Google, Google it. it. I yeah, got it. My, my, my internet on this computer sucks. But, I just um, can't imagine anybody saying that'll be 12 ducats. I, I want to know how much a ducat is. It'll be 12 ducks. Let's figure it out. Um, is it I, the equivalent of trading a duck in old I guys? immediately so, text Riley. Accurate. And I'm like, Riley, when we move, yeah, we, too. we <laughs> totally need to get a duck. <laughs> now there's going to be stock shares for ducks to find yeah. out how much a ducat is worth. <laughs> but, um... I honestly think we should have kept our old currency system of bartering. Sometimes uh, it works, sometimes it doesn't. D U C A T. Ducat, actually. Was a gold or silver coin used as trade, as a trade coin in Europe, from the the, the later medieval centuries until as late as the twentieth century. Huh. Interesting. Well, so I guess, that, I I guess the euro really replaced it. No, see, it sounded what? familiar. Comes from Duke, not Ducks. Aha! So it's was. a Duke. It. Well, so how much is, that, how much that is mean, a Duke worth? Is, the does, fuck that mean, I, does that mean there's a Duke of Duke? Duke of Earl, 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 Duke of Earl. I don't remember how it goes. Okay. Um, James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones. Um, Frank has sent you a friend request. <laughs> Who are you, Frank? Also, I'm your father. But I, I immediately text her and I'm like, we need to we need to buy a duck when we move. He goes, oh my god, we should. Oh yeah, you guys are and, might move in together. Yeah, um, that's cool. Maybe kind of, sorta, maybe. eventually. I'm like, let me know when you start spooning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, they're only five dollars. We could buy six, maybe like thirty. You have a duck farm. He, he's in our, in our apartment in Harrisburg. He goes, <laughs> that's gonna work. Do they allow pets? Yeah, as long as they're under like thirty pounds. A duck is under thirty I, yeah, pounds. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. But combined total, they might be under 30 pounds. Like, yeah. oh, we can't do this. Well, no, they said pet under 30 pounds. Yeah. They never specified how many pets you're yeah. allowed to have. And we, we have, like, 30 ducks that are all a pound. And, and one of them, like, gains, gains two pounds. And I was, sorry, sorry, fucking Chester. We have to let you go. We just, like, throw it out the fourth-story window. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sure away. that would be it. I would sure. Yeah. Sorry, Chester. We're going to have to let you go. <laughs> Riley, you want duck tonight? <laughs> I told my dad. Like, I, I, have, I have left duck once. It's slippery. Duck is great. I love it. It is good. Yeah. But it's slippery. But I just like ran in my house food. and I'm like, Bums. I'm like, dad, dad, dad. <laughs> Tractor Supply has baby ducks for five dollars. Can I get one? Can I get one? He goes, when it grows up, can we eat it? Because that's the only way that I'm going to allow you to have that kind of a pet. I'm like, so is that why we can't have a dog? No, I just don't like dogs. <laughs> That's like uh, he doesn't like the taste of my dogs. stepdad told me a story once. He, uh, his his dad owned a farm of dogs, of, e -I -E -I of various various animals. <laughs> and and on time, that farm, there was a pig. <laughs> he bought he he got a pig, a little piglet once. I don't remember where he said he got it, 
And he's like, his dad is like, okay, you can have this as long as you know you care for it and feed it and everything. So he's like, okay, I'll do that. He didn't have, it didn't give it a name. It was just, it was just pig. <laughs> pig. Ah, so he, he, ah, pig. He did, he did that. He, 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 he cared for it, and fed it, and everything, and it grew up pretty big. And one day he came home from school, and he was, he was like, I'm gonna go feed the pig now. And it wasn't there. And he's like, Dad. Where's my pig? And he's like, in the freezer. <laughs> he had slaughtered it right after he left for school. Oh, that's terrible. it up, put it in the freezer. That's terrible. I, I, one of my family members has a story like that, but it's... it's Please t- don't let it be Keith Lowe. It's, Apparently it's, there used to be a monkey in my family. It's rabbit-related. Yes, I think Everybody there was a monkey in everyone's and, family. Well, no, like, there's my grandmother before she passed, like, one Christmas when I was little, when we used to visit my grandmother, she had home films, and there was a monkey in diapers. <laughs> Are you sure it just wasn't you as a child? You were just really fucking hairy. I'm sure I am really born, fucking hairy. I'm pretty sure you were born with that beard. <laughs> <laughs> I was born with my beard. I'm sure you were. Was I also born with a tail and opposable thumbs on my toes? Yes. On my toes, not my feet. I was there. Each toe has. I should know. I was there. Oh really? I was a year old. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for remembering my fuzziness. You're welcome. And how what's, slender I was. What's the earliest memory you can remember? Talking to a girl and falling out. Um, I was two and a half. You were two and a half, and what happened? I, I lived in a trailer park. Okay. There was a girl in the trailer park that I, I used to talk to, because I was a pimp back then. <laughs> okay. What oh, happened? I think I remember this story. Yeah. Um, I, I was in my room, which like when you drive up the the, the road of a trailer park, the the wall that's right there okay. on each trailer. Yeah. That was my room. Was that that room right there? So yeah. I would sit there put my face against the screen and just look out at the road to see who was there. <laughs> and their girl walked by and we were talking and I pushed too hard, fell out my screen door yep. and onto one of the three giant decorational rocks that we had. Because we just <laughs> decorated... broke your spine and died. We decorated our flower garden <laughs> with three rocks. There were no flowers, just three rocks. So a rock garden. And I fell on one and I could have swore I was taken to the hospital by a UPS truck. But my mom says <laughs> because it was... it's a trailer park. But my mom says it was an ambulance. <laughs> But I remember, okay, Mom, like, okay. I remember the, the 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 platform where UPS drivers get on and off of their truck. I remember sitting there, like, in a towel, and my mom's like, "No, you were in a gurney of a, of an ambulance." I'm so sure I don't know who's lots. right. Yeah, the right. kid that best bashed just bashed his head, or the or the <laughs> the kid at Bed Bath and Beyond, <laughs> or my mom with blood all the way up to her forearms. I I want to have to go with mom on that one because I was I the only time I've ever I've ever. Uh, broke it down on the side of the road. I ran out of gas. The only time I ever ran out of gas, um, I was like in a, um, I was just coming into like a developmental kind of area, and a UPS truck just came up and like parked in front of me and it took packages to the house that I was broken down next to. It didn't stop. Just be like, hey, is there anything I can do for you? What's wrong? What's going on? Just they're busy as shit. They got schedules to keep. Yeah, but he, he and did- take the little boys to a hospital. <laughs> They got, fuck you, I don't know how to fuck you, man. So, <laughs> you don't yeah, know how to fuck you. Me. Early, early <laughs> uh, how did you get there? Uh, what am, uh, I, actually, my, actually, my first best friend, uh, she and her brother lived across the street from me. Um, and I remember, when was it? I think it was in the wintertime. I think it was in the wintertime. I don't remember. Um. I ran outside across the street and I, I played in their sandbox. Mm. Um, it was either in the winter time or it was raining. I don't remember which, but it was it was inclement weather of some sort. And I was like in a t-shirt and no shoes. And I just like ran outside I'm like sandbox, <laughs> and that's how me and this girl became friends. And we lived across the street from each other for like twelve years. For and, like forty years. Yeah. And then her and her family actually ended up moving uh, into Hanover. Um, so, yeah. Uh-huh. Earliest memory go. Fuck uh, you, Connor. That was cute. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I don't have any memories. Uh, <laughs> I was built like this. I don't know. They just got my mom's belly open and I popped out. And <laughs> there, I was you there. Just, you were just like... <laughs> <laughs> My immediate, my immediate I rode the escalator out of my mom. <laughs> my, my immediate thought There's was, like an they, they cut my mom over and I was like, here I am, everybody! <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll just keep being idiots while you think of 
something. No, no, okay. This may not be my earliest one, but this is probably the most, it's probably like the important one. The most I remember, profound. uh, and that's also kind of like depressing. Just. It was like yesterday. <laughs> so me beating my head wasn't depressing? Yeah, I was looking for breakfast. No, I was, I remember 9-11, because I lived in D.C., and I remember being in the car with my mother, because we were driving home from the school, we were trying to find my dad, who was supposed to be working at the Pentagon, but he wasn't, ah, and we were okay. tracking him down, I remember that. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Mine was yeah, when so I quick. was like, really quick. well, I, I moved in when I was three, so it was about four or five is, is when that happened. I, uh, my, my earliest memory that I can remember is I was, it's only an image as to how long ago this was. I think I was maybe one, maybe two, because I know, I know distinctly it was in Nevada, because I moved out of Nevada when I was two. Um. I, I actually told this to my mom. She's like, yeah, that's 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 Nevada where you... Uh, <laughs> yep, that's Nevada. That's Nevada. Right. <laughs> well, is this, is this <laughs> Nevada? Yes, that's Nevada. No, I'm sorry. That's Utah, sweetheart. <laughs> no, I, I remember... We don't go there. Should be under we don't talk about Utah state. in this house. Yep, it's Nevada. <laughs> my, my friend... Or my friend... My mom's had a friend named Linda, which is funny because her name is Wanda, so it's Wanda and Linda. <laughs> um, uh, excuse me, Casey and Stacy. Yeah, I know. I'm not one to talk. Dick. Did did you you happen to like live in in Nevada solely for like a terrible sitcom that only ran for like half a season? If you want, I can explain. Cause that that's that's what it sounds like. <laughs> it got canceled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, what I remember is okay. So Linda had this daughter named Gina who was also my age. They, we were born. <laughs> <laughs> what? Linda, did Linda, they, and Gina. <laughs> did they like move there from Brooklyn? What? Why do you guys laugh at just every detail I give? I don't know! Because it's comical, and we're easily entertained. Linda and Gina. Yeah, we're from Brooklyn. We moved here from the south side. I don't know where they were from. But, uh, Vegas, baby! <laughs> we're here to make some money! I live, I live in Las Vegas. That's where I was born. In, in Las Vegas. I was born in a casino. <laughs> It was probably. Hold on, I'm not, I'm not done playing the slot machines yet. <laughs> no, no, that that wasn't even my thought. No, that's that's how that's how my mom gave birth to me. To tell if it was a girl or a boy, they would just pull the thing. And, uh -huh. It's a boy. <laughs> the slot Let's sew on a penis quick. <laughs> my well, my my thought was like your mom wasn't even pregnant. She was just playing the slots. All of a sudden, a baby falls out. I'm like, my name's Jack, fine! No, it's no, mine now. No, Actually, just no that would be the, I, uh, the, the, the bankrupt bars. All three of them. <laughs> Shit, I got a kid now. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. Wait, just the opposite? Just the opposite of the jackpot is having a kid. Huh. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you meant, Because like, they take your money. <laughs> I thought you meant, like, somebody, like, your mom had you, and then some other lady took you. Because that's also the opposite. <laughs> your mom's sitting on top of the... Is she still in the van? Your mom's oh. really not your mom, Casey. Your mom's actually the... the Can I finish the, what I was saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to let me, like, crazy. All I remember <laughs> was... Hey, <laughs> clapperboard. All I remember is, it was... There was a white couch on, on my right side, and... Gina is like crawling around, and the I, there was a, a slider door over here, and the the uh, carpet was white. That's all I remember. That's the that's that's the earliest, earliest thing I can remember. It's a lot of white. It is a lot of white. Uh, did you Were you like, also a pimp yes. as a kid? <laughs> Actually, yes. Yeah. Huh? Were you also a kid pimp? Uh, <laughs> go. Uh, my mom and Linda were like, oh, they're so cute together. They're going to get married I, someday. And I don't, then her mom did drugs. I don't know what happened to me, but I used to be able to make girls compete for my love. <laughs> I did that, like, one time. I, I, I had that ability for, like, four hours once. I, I, I had it for about an entire school year. <laughs> so, how, so how did they compete? Were they, like, racing? Because they may have been running away from well, oh, yeah. no. Actually, <laughs> that, that was, that was the, the way you Three girls you were that cool. were all friends decided that I was cute. Uh -huh. and that's it was that, third no, that's, grade, that's so I didn't cool. know anything other than because playground and, and, and... If you're the fastest runner, you're the coolest kid mm -hmm. in elementary school. I was I'm not, but apparently I had I had hordes of girls competing for my love. I used to make them like do a boot camp through the, the, <laughs> the stuff. Like, okay, do the monkey bars, and then I'd run over there. And then uh, I'd wait for them to stop, and then I'd tell them to do something else. Or, don't grab me that rock, because it looks nice. The... the and then uh, the winner only lasted a week, and then I went with runner-up, and then I never tried third place. 
Because you never trust her. And that's when you realize that all girls are whores. Except for you, Stacy. No, it was third grade. I didn't know the difference between boys and girls. (laughs) (laughs) Or is it Mario Kart? (laughs) They were just boys with longer hair. I've never never seen... I've never seen... The definition of girls, boys with longer hair. I've never seen anyone without a front tail before. <laughs> the, 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 the first place winner was like already well known for like being kind of hoary. It was third grade. How she was known to be hoary in third grade. She, she wore those bracelets that when you ripped them that you had to do the thing. And she um, would always com- like like do you know say that I'm they went back talking. that far. Wait, yeah, when what, I was in third grade. What kind of bracelets? They're like jelly the, bracelets. They're all different colors, and the colors like the black colors. ones were sex, the blue ones were something, the red yeah. ones were something. Like if if one was ripped, the person who ripped it had to have something done by or do something to the person who was wearing it. I don't yeah. know about those. It, it, it's been a while, but yeah. uh, the first place winner had like two arm sleeves basically compiled ah, of these okay. these bracelets, and almost every other week. Uh, she would bring in the ripped ones and have new ones on. So, wow. third grade Hori. Yeah, yeah. Um, again, I was in third grade. Story. I didn't know the difference between boys and girls, so I didn't care. She's like, you want to rip one? I was like, no, it's, why would I rip your stuff? <laughs> that's, that's like that's throwing yourself, that's the third grade equivalent of throwing yourself out there. Yeah. Hey, want to get my bracelet? Yeah, the, the, you know the, what I'm we about. used to sit next to each other on the bus, and she's like, you know, you could you could rip one, and I was like, "But that's your jewelry." I was told not to to to, to break people's things. No, you can you can break this one. I I don't I don't think. And then she grabs right. the hold of you, throws you up against the window, and put your penis in me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine any other context where a woman can say to a man, "Do you want to rip one?" <laughs> I can, I can. Unless you're so comfortable with with your relationship that you could just like <laughs> pointing at Stacy right now. I know. Has she but ever said that to you? I'm, you want to rip I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna stop right there. No, but but she yeah, I, I'm just gonna stop right there. Third grade pimp, man. This is what I get for dating a tomboy. Mm-hmm. That's okay. I'm okay with it. Oh, Suddenly, also, the conversation I, came to a screeching halt. I, I just, I just remembered, so, I just remembered something else about me being a young kid. Yeah. What? <laughs> Apparently, Lice was an STD. <laughs> hold Lice, on, hold right. on, hold on. I shall explain. Please. I had an assortment. You have of white stuff in your hair. Clearly, you had sex. And, and <laughs> <laughs> I had an assortment of babysitters when I was a kid. <laughs> uh, the first one abused me, so I didn't go there anymore. Oh, the second one was you, neglected. You had my a parents, battalion of stuff. It didn't like that one anymore. The third, the third was great, but we had to move. The fourth one. Uh, the third. Oh, the third one showed you her boobies. No, the the. the Fourth one only let me and my sister go there for a day, and all the girls chased after me, so she didn't want me there anymore. Uh, the fifth one was my mom, and she started babysitting, and I would help when I came home from school. But let's rewind back to the second one who was neglected. She had two daughters. <laughs> He's playing with his mind. It's like therapy. <laughs> now, 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 boys, now, boys, let me tell you about what happened when, in the good old days. I'm older than I, you are. Again. Again, I was little. I don't remember how old I was. I didn't know the difference between boys and girls. Um, you need a tweed jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the uh, uh, you know, truth or dare was still a big thing oh, when yeah. I was a kid. I was never part of that. So, apparently, the, the younger of the two, who was about my age, liked me enough that, that she would try to get me to do silly things like take off my pants. And I did it. I didn't care. I didn't know that you don't care people. now. <laughs> the, the babysitter would have me do no, do her, silly things. Her daughters. Oh, you were paying attention. Oh, I'm sorry. The younger of the two daughters, who was about my age. Uh-huh. It, went, it went from being a little bit rapey to a little bit adorable. <laughs> no, apparently I went from pimp to whore. Yeah, to candy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I just truth or dare ended. She bribed me into the bathroom that she locked. <laughs> To invite me to eat candy, and we ended up dry humping, and I didn't know what it was until I later found out. What How sex old were you? <laughs> um, <laughs> yesterday. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I was like yesterday old. I'm yeah. thinking like second or third grade. Jesus. 
Apparently she bought me out with candy. I feel, I feel like I feel like I should take your pipe and you should come on the couch. Yeah. And then just continue your story. Just my, my entire thought was and like, how does that make you feel? Like a whore. That's a good response. <laughs> I'll write that down. That'll be a thousand dollars. I'm I'm sorry I wasn't paying attention. Ryan text me. It's okay. Um But yeah, just the babysitter made me do silly little things like take, take off, off my, my pants. pants. Yeah, I'm like, know. whoa, hold on a second. I didn't even pay attention to this. <laughs> All babysitters did that, right? <laughs> no. Uh, but but that's how I ended up getting head lice when I was a kid. When I, when I was a kid, <laughs> like, because, we, because someone brought me with candy, dry hump me, and then I went home with head lice. <laughs> God, that's horrible. You, you walk in like, Mom, my head's itchy. Hold on, hold on. Let me look. Cow, you have lice. Like, I may or may not have had sex. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that is. You run in being like, Mom, I think I had sex. <laughs> what? I have lice. I have lice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh. When I was a kid, my friends and I used to think, like, like well, they would, they would tell us, like, well, lice is obviously a head thing. Yeah. So... Like, I, I used to, like, me and a couple friends used to think, like, like if we're, like, um, we used to, like, lay out in the grass on the playground. Yeah. So we stopped doing that when we when there was a lice outbreak, because we thought, like, the lice would, like, crawl out of your hair like you cross the grass and into the next person. <laughs> and then, then they started telling us, no, lice is, like, when you touch people. So, like, we stopped high-fiving. Like, <laughs> no! Like, it, they, they, I forget how they explained it to us, but oh, it so said... They, oh, so we could... It, like it's, no, it's not like that. Oh, so we can rub our heads together. Yeah, it essentially, it's <laughs> like, okay, so you're telling us we, we can't rub our heads together. Okay, like we didn't already not do that to begin with because who the fuck just runs off, hey, what's up, bro? Rub. It's like a handshake. Yeah. It's a handshake. <laughs> I remember like, the time when I was in elementary school, I, I, I had this friend named Tyler Nup. <laughs> It, it was called K-N-U-P-P. <laughs> P-P. Shut up. <laughs> I'm four. We used to pretend that we were detectives. This was like kindergarten. Maybe What's not Tyler? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I never thought of that. That's hilarious. You, well, you were like four. I, I actually have friends with him on Facebook. You should go tell him that. I should, I should tell him that. Like he's probably very good. Yeah. Um, probably. Yeah. Uh, I just remember we used to pretend we were detectives. <laughs> And we, like, spent all this time looking for evidence, mm -hmm. and it was, like, this was a week-long thing, so, like, Monday we started, like, collecting evidence and everything, <laughs> and, or, like, it, like, at, like, interviewing everyone on the playground about what happened, I don't even remember what the ordeal was, but I, I only remember one thing, like, he was absent on, like, Thursday, mm -hmm. and I just was, like, well, he's not here. I guess I better just keep going. <laughs> keep going on with the story. He comes back on Friday. We go. And you already solved the murder. We, well, what happened was he's he the came, murder. He came out on Friday, and like the first thing he says, he's like, "Casey, we gotta find the evidence." I'm like, "We did it already." <laughs> <laughs> and he just goes, he's just like, "Oh." Now we're and that's where your friendship crumbled. Now that, we're astronauts. Yeah. Now we're, <laughs> now we're, yeah, now we're astronauts. <laughs> we're on the Serengeti. I'm glad yeah, that you can have We're astronauts on the stairs and not get in trouble for it. Yeah. Um, when I was in second grade, I uh, my teachers were warned about me. Oh. Because in first grade, I pretended to play dinosaurs with a friend of mine. I think I remember this. And story. I bit him. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Watch out for the biting pimp. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The biting. The biting story. pimp. I didn't like sink my teeth in. It's like and a kid. Dinosaurs eat things. Yes. So uh, we were playing dinosaurs, you're and apparently I bit him. You're just really dedicated actor. Yeah, I am. What kind of dinosaur were you? Uh, I think I was a <laughs> T-Rex because it was my favorite. Was like, oh, I think it's as was favorite. everyone else's. Yeah. Fuck that. It was big. It had a Nobody, deformed Nobody's like, I love a patasaurus. <laughs> the other kids are like, a dinosaur. Why do you like paddles? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck's a patasaurus anyway? It's um. Uh, it's Wait, a Spatosaurus or an Apatosaurus? A, a, I just know it was pronounced Apatosaurus because oh. they found out uh, a couple of years ago. I don't actually, actually don't know how. Okay, I know what it was. But, but it was like they they discovered that Brontosaurus is <laughs> not a real dinosaur. <laughs> it's actually something completely different. Some paleontologists some mixed up some. Yeah, bones. they mixed uh, some some stuff up. They actually figured out that um, they actually figured that out in the seventies. Oh really? And it was a mistake they made in like the forties. It's a government and, cover up. Yeah. And it's only taken until recently with, you know, like, the internet and stuff. People's like, hey, that's not a thing. Oh. 
So I'm, I'm in an archaeology class, mm. and... Um, Fuck, really? Yeah, I am. Damn, oh my god. Okay. It's, it's interesting. It's crap. It's a super interesting. Do you get to, to play the, the Velociraptor flute? <laughs> From, from Jurassic Park, the I third watched Jurassic, Park. Jurassic Park, the third movie. Yeah, um, this guy discovers that they they have this nasal like passageway, which is what they use to communicate. Yeah, okay. So they carved out the nasal section in the skull of Velociraptors, hmm. so he could play it like a flute to make the 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 sounds that they would use to communicate. Yeah. And then, the, like in the scene in the movie, he steals Velociraptor eggs, and the Velociraptors catch up with the eggs. Right. And they talk to one another, uh, the Velociraptors, to him through the flute. Wow. But to yeah. communicate, I'll give you your eggs back, don't eat me. When so I, what do you do in class? Uh, it's historical archaeology, so I don't do any field work. Okay. But okay. I learned about it. it. It's still... You go on field trip to Egypt and China? No, it's philosophy. Well, actually, it, it, last year they went to Jamaica. It's oh, philosophy. Shit, what do you think would happen <laughs> if we dug in the dirt? <laughs> Let me tell you. How would you feel if you found something rare? I just think it's it, it's almost pretentious how anything they find in the dirt, mm -hmm. like anything that's from a, a past civilization or from an earlier time, they call them artifacts. I think that's so pretentious. So, I found this diaper. It's gotta be a thing. Yeah. Somebody dropped their brick Nokia phone from the night. It's an 19, artifact. 1993. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was that thing? On you, you're the only one here. It was on group chat. It was somebody. So, something somebody posted that was like like description, like honest descriptions of each major. Archaeology yeah. was. If it's not, if you can't, can't tell what it is, it was probably used for ceremonial purposes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that sounds about right. Artifacts are anything you find in the dirt. Um, features are things that is not made by anyone. It's just something you see. Like you see a hill over there, that's a feature. Okay. <laughs> but the thing that was funny was I what was. What would you consider like a rock formation that was mined out to form something? That's also a feature. It is. It's yeah. still considered that, even though it was slightly altered by man. Yeah, so things that are altered by man, not. Things that are made by man is artifacts. Things that are uh, altered by man or things that are, like, around the area, those are features. But anyway, uh, we were, were doing presentations, and I went on Thursday. And it was funny because I, basically what I was doing, what I, I was explaining how to write to people who aren't archaeologists, and I, I made a point that the, the guy, the author, actually made in the paper that I had to read he said that people want to learn about their own culture. They don't want to hear about English ceramics <laughs> as a joke. And, like, everybody, like, looks at the professor who's like, that's his thing. Ceramics are his thing. And everybody laughs. And, like, after I'm done doing my presentation, I, I go sit down and everybody applauds. And he's like, well, I think ceramics are fascinating. I don't know about you guys. I just thought that was funny. What are you studying, studying again? What, what am I majoring in? You yeah. Mean? yeah. I'm going to education. Okay. Secondary education. That's which? That's high school. Yeah. Oh, okay. Primary is kindergarten through sixth grade. Yeah. Another uh, across the pond thing. In England, that's what they always call it. Yeah, but they still call yeah. it that in college for whatever reason. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's a thing. Not a lot of people know what post secondary means anymore. Yeah. What does it mean? means after high school education. Ah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you were serious? I thought you were joking. <laughs> 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 okay, <sweet>. <laughs> <laughs> And over here, Stacy's like, <laughs> I'm like, no, please tell me. I wish to learn all these interesting things. Because, like, all, all, all the interviews I ever had to go into, it's like, yeah. I, I tried I to afford, hide it. I couldn't, I couldn't like, afford post-secondary education. Uh huh. I couldn't go to college. Uh. uh well, it makes sense now that you explained it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you. That out, was but. great. So I have a work story, and then you can tell your work story. Okay. All right. So you, then you. Me, then you. Okay. And then anybody else who has work stories. Okay. Um. You work at Wise, so you don't have any stories, and he's really. jobless. So. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, other Dave. There you go. Okay, so I work at this place called The Anchor at my college, which is just... I love The Anchor. What? I love The Anchor. That was 
though. It's useful for ships. I have a girlfriend there. It, it uh, helps you stop. <laughs> yeah, everything is pirate themed there. <laughs> we, got, we got the anchor, the upper deck, the cove, and Rostein Bistro. Do you do you do you wear a bandana and an eye patch for no. your pizza? No, it's not that. It's it's not. Could themed. you wear a bandana? No, I have to wear a hat and a polo. Why not a bandana? I don't know. It's like a hat without the bill. I don't know. It's themed, not too. But that, that's oh, the entire point of themes is being juvenile. Yeah. I have, like, pictures of stuff. Imagination. <laughs> the person I work with is this, like, 50, maybe, 50-year-old 50 uh, Jamaican woman named Marcy. And uh, I get I get into a lot of different... She is such a sweetheart, mm -hmm. and yet, like, every if, if you make one tiny mistake, she will go crazy. Walk the plank. You'll make me walk the plank. Get the fuck out. And how does that make me feel? I don't know how that makes me feel, Kyle. I'm feeling. Well, let me write some shit on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shaking invisible watch. We're, we're, we're on a budget. <laughs> we, can all, we can only afford the watch. <laughs> you're you're going to have to get out now. Okay, so, um, yeah, I work with her, and she's like really stingy about rules and stuff because she doesn't want to get blamed for anything. Mm -hmm. That's her reasoning. But that makes she, sense. Uh, but she, she said she's such a sweetheart, and we'll get into a lot of different conversations about just various things. I'll ask her about Jamaica and stuff. Um, one time, we were watching uh, somebody make a milkshake for somebody because our the pizza bar is right across from the, where you get coffee and donuts and milkshakes. So we were just standing there waiting for like business for us, but we were watching these people make milkshakes, and she's just like, no one knows how to make a milkshake anymore. <laughs> And I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, all they ever put in these is ice cream and milk. They don't understand the way to make a proper milkshake. And I'm like, okay, well, how do you make a, a proper milkshake? Here is what how you make a... Write this down, people watching slash listening. Here is what how. Here, here is how to make a Jamaican milkshake. You got your ice cream and your milk. Like and your weed. <laughs> this is how to make a milkshake. That's and then the some more weed. <laughs> it's it's get out! It's get out! Funny. Seriously. <laughs> It'll Jamaican make you happy. Uh, you're Jamaican me crazy with all your fucking that's a, that's a candle. <laughs> Jamaican me crazy is a candle scent that my mom loves. It's also have. a type of secrets. Uh, Remember when we go to the. Uh, uh, shaman and shaman. <laughs> Morning Star I Market. About shaman and shaman. When they had the candle shop there, she would always look for Jamaican Me Crazy and monkey farts. <laughs> <laughs> what do those smell like? I don't know. Weed and farts? I guess. <laughs> Weed and bananas. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, this is what is in a Jamaican milkshake okay. it's, it's milk and ice cream like normal, sometimes cream if you want a buffer or whatever. Um, vanilla, except she pronounces it vanilla. And nutmeg. Okay. She also said put a pinch of nutmeg in. I'm like, how much is a pinch exactly? <laughs> she didn't know. He just take the nutmeg pinch. <laughs> and the like, fuck if I know? <laughs> just throw it in. I can pinch on one screen. nutmeg. What does that mean? Oh, it means my battery's died. You might want to plug it in then. Maybe. <laughs> oh, Excuse me. Did she make you one? No. So I'm try she this. just explained. I'm going to make one though. I think we should. I think Wes. I think we should do it for one of our two guys go on adventures things. Yes. Where we make stuff. I'll talk to you that about that after the show. Yes. Um, but anyway, I'll wait. <coughs> <for you next. laughs> I forgot to plug in my laptop earlier. Hey, there we go. Now we're not gonna die. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, milk, ice cream, nutmeg, vanilla, and wine. Bro, <laughs> wine. <laughs> And Guinness, if you want. Hmm. Either or, or both. I don't think that would be very terrific. That's, so, what, that's so what she told me. She's like... This 50-year-old woman is complaining that nobody's putting alcohol in their milkshakes to sell them minors. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, she calls them children, no matter how old they are. Even if even if the guy is, like, holding a cane, and he's, like, like shaking off... Oh, my child! And she's like, oh, these children, they're not ordering their pizza today. That's what she said. Like, the, the day when we had all that snow, mm -hmm. um, school uh, school was canceled for two days straight, but I still had to go into work. And she's like, where are the children? I said, I think they're in bed because there's no school today. And she's like, she basically says, well, if you if you ha if you if didn't have to work, would you still come in here? I'm like, of course. She's like, okay. 
<laughs> that's why we're, I like you, and that's why I keep we're you best around. friends now because I told her I played steel drums, and she's just like, <gasps> "Oh, that's cool." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I like Marcy. Con- Connor played steel drums too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still have my shirt. I think I do too, actually. I kept it. <laughs> I'm yeah. wearing a shirt. <laughs> why would you give it back? Huh? Why would you give it back? Because I told us to. But no. Oh. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> I still have. I still have both my manager shirts from uh, band in high school. Nice. Yeah. I was never in actual band. Well, no, that's not true. I was in band for one year, and I played the marimba. Nice. I wanted to give my Ud shirts back after I left, but they wouldn't let me. <laughs> <laughs> and they want you to give your fire stuff back, but you don't want to. My grandfather told me not to. He's like, it's just a bunch of junk. You could probably just keep it. Like, no, I'll, I'll give that back. <laughs> no, you won't. Eventually. <laughs> How long has it been in your closet? <laughs> it's not in my closet. It's in front, behind, beside my bed. How long? <laughs> Since I've had it. <laughs> Which yeah, is? Um, it's been a couple of years. <laughs> Since I was 15. Yeah, and you're 19 now. Mar- Marcy also. Couple, couple. She's She's so, so stingy with these, like, you have to be perfect with everything. Um, one time she put in the wrong type of pizza mm-hmm. in the oven and I'm like are we making another one of those? She's like yeah of course we are I'm like the same kind as it's out right now and she just goes and she looks like she's gonna about to cry <laughs> she's like oh no they're gonna fire me now because I think that's what she's afraid of she's afraid of being fired I just want I just want to say that when you tell stories like that, I just love how 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 big and and like uh, like like fucking I don't know words. <laughs> Try just, use just, your words. Just big and emotional, your eyes get. <laughs> it's like so sincere. The accent was pretty good too. You should make an accent. Yeah, I tried. Yeah. I learned from Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> and Marcy. And Marcy. That's, <laughs> that's the best place to learn is Grand Theft Auto. Do I get my morals? <laughs> the news, sir, are a good man. Yeah, there's also, there's one other girl that I work with, her name is uh, Liz, and she's from either Mexico or Puerto Rico, I don't remember which one. She doesn't speak a word of English except for hi. Liz doesn't sound very... (laughs) (laughs) It's actually pronounced Lise, but... I understand Elizabeth. I think her name is Elizabetta. That That is no sense. Yeah, she just shortens it to Lise. But yeah, she only speaks hi. She only says hi. <laughs> and it's funny because I see her and Marcy talking all the time. So either she's faking it mm-hmm. and she just doesn't want to talk to me, or apparently Jamaicans can also speak Spanish. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, go on with your story. Hey, hey, Liz, we need this, this, and this. Hi. 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 She's really quiet, too. Hi. What were we doing? Oh, oh yeah, my story. Work story. <laughs> <Short stories. laughs> I got confused. Hi. Um, so this week I, I I'm finishing up, or last week I was finishing up uh, some frames and glass and stuff. Hopefully by the end of this coming week I'll be out of Hershey with Little Dog. I don't foresee that happening though. <laughs> um, but the room that the first frame that I put up, uh, there's a room behind us. I don't know what it is or what it's going to be, but there's pipes coming up out of the floor. Okay. So there's some sort of plumbing involved. Um, and because there's stuff coming up out of the floor, they needed to, to uh, re-concrete the floor. So they had some guys re-concreting the floor. And the three guys that were doing it were three black guys. There was a, it, It's like the three little pigs in this this scenario. Okay. There's, there's a scrawny guy that's... big bad white guy blows the <laughs> house is down. <laughs> oh, it, it, gets, it, it gets good. Um, Wait, no, I'm sorry. I did that wrong. The big bad white guy steals all their money. <laughs> just takes all their there, money. There's a, there's a scrawny one running water back and forth from the sink <laughs> to the wheelbarrow. Okay. Uh, there's like a medium-built one that's that's lugging all the... This sounds like the porridge store. Yeah. Not, not, yeah. Whatever. Uh, he's he's throwing the the bags of concrete. Then the medium pig gets a medium bowl of porridge <laughs> and says, "This is too medium." <laughs> but he's he's throwing the bags of concrete in, in the wheelbarrow and he's cutting them open and everything. And then there's a guy that's like twice as big as I am, that's actually like throwing the the concrete onto the floor and surfacing it. Yeah. And the second guy is just like loading bag after bag after bag of 
concrete mix into the wheelbarrow, and there's like two dozen bags there, and he just keeps throwing bag after bag in. And Jerry, uh, our foreman, is from Tennessee. He's got he's got a, a decent, decently thick Southern draw about him. And he's just like, I don't know what he actually does during the day. <laughs> if really anything, he's I just a see Southern him, guy. Yeah, I, I just I just see him wandering around. He's there for moral support, <laughs> and I I think so. But he he walks in, and he goes, "Hey guys, how's it going?" And it was it was going good, Jerry. How are you? Oh, I'm not doing too bad. And he, he looks at the the guy throwing throwing uh, the bags of concrete, and he realizes there's like a stack of bags, of empty bags on the floor. Son, how many bags of how many bags of cement are you putting in that wheelbarrow? Uh, see, um, bags of what? Bags of cement. Okay. <laughs> in, in the wheelbarrow. There's a there, I promise. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm I'm putting in what we need, Jerry. And he just stops and he looks and he goes, Boys, let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. Have any of you boys ever ate a watermelon before? <laughs> and everyone just stops. <laughs> and the, the big one leans out of the room. Oh, you got jokes, Jerry. <laughs> no, hear me out. I'm going somewhere with this. Answer the question. Have any of you boys ate a watermelon before? Well, yeah, Jerry, we've all eaten a watermelon before. Why? What, what does this have to do with cement? It has plenty to do with cement. Now just hear me out. How do you eat a watermelon? With my mouth. How do you think... Jerry, I don't understand where the fuck this is going. You need to eat the cement. <laughs> yeah. One slice at a time. Yeah. One slice of cement. Yeah, it, yeah. How do you... How, you, you don't... How, just, how do you eat a watermelon? Do you, do you eat it a, a, a whole watermelon at a time, or do you eat it one piece at a time? Well, we eat it one piece at a time because it doesn't. You can't. You can't eat a whole watermelon at once, Jerry. What the fuck is wrong with you? And it's exactly the same thing with cement. You can't load up all your cement into a wheelbarrow all, all at once. Sentimental <laughs> licorice. Like and it, like you can't eat a whole watermelon all one bite. So what you got to do? You gotta you gotta do one or two bags at a time. If you need more, then you can do two, one or two more bags later. You can't load everything all, all up at once because then you're just going to waste all this product. Okay, that makes sense. And he goes, all right, so what are you, going, you, what are you boys going to do now? We're going to do one or two bags at a time from now on. Good, because I don't want to see you wasting any more of my shit. He goes to turn around and the, um, the wall that, that we put the frame up in, um, the ceiling, they, they're, they're going to install a drop ceiling, and it goes right above the, like, the archway that we have the frame up in. And the drywall guy is up on a ladder over there. He leans across the, the, the archway. He just, he just sticks his head in. He's like, Jerry, I swear to God you were going to go somewhere completely <laughs> different with that. <laughs> Al was really, really terrified for a second. And the big one leans out again. Oh, you got jokes now. Like, no, I was just trying to defend you. You know what? I'm done. And he climbs down the ladder. He's like, I'm done. I'm fu- fuck you guys. I'm done. Takes his ladder and he walks out. I don't know where he went, but he just walks away. He's still walking to this day. <laughs> just, I, Jerry, I swear to God, I had, I thought you were going somewhere completely different with that. I was terrified because I was sitting on the floor, like, running vinyl, sealing in the, in the glass. I was running vinyl records. Yeah. And like there was there was the door there and I didn't know if I was gonna be able to get up in time for this very large angry black man just come <laughs> like just running through shit and break everything because Don't you know who I am <laughs> Don't you know who I am Don't you make no watermelon jokes around me quit calling me boy <laughs> Boy I'm twenty eight Stop calling me boy B O I H Jerry, <laughs> Jerry full well knows I'm 21, but he still thinks I'm 28. It's great. I love I love everybody there except the guy I work with. With it, sorry. You work with a lot of guys, don't you? Well, the guy I directly work with for my shop. But yeah. Right. Yeah. I, so, go ahead. I was gonna say I think the only one of the main reasons you see me. What are you getting up for? I'm dumping my pipe. Well, put it on the floor. I wasn't gonna let it spill on the floor, damn it! No, it's okay, we'll wait. That's more. No, you keep talking. No, because you're gonna walk in front of the camera again. No, I'll strut in front of the what camera. The hell is again. wrong with you? <laughs> Plenty! If it wasn't for the fact that you live here, I wouldn't allow you on the show no more. Anyway, I think most of, part of the reason why Stacy puts up with my shit is because of how colorful my sarcasm can be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please tell me more! I don't remember how it <coughs> happened, but eventually I just, like, 
I just stood up and was like, the prophecy has been fulfilled. For 5,000 years, we have been waiting for the Chosen One, and I think we finally found... But what was it? Uh, I don't remember. I think it was something about me having a dick and ruling the world. I don't remember. That sounds about right. <laughs> well, sound men right. usually do hold a great amount of power. And penises. Yeah. Well, they happen to have penises. That goes without yeah. saying. Yeah. Well, girls sometimes hold the penises, too. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. Good. that's good. So they truly control the Sometimes power. maybe a dog or like a horse or something. It, it's like in that this, moment, I think they do. Raccoon, this, this, maybe. This famous no, it's it's any moment that they're not holding a penis that they control the power of a man. Yeah. Because they decide when they want to hold a penis. This famous quote by whoever it was. Except for two people I know. If men got outside. pregnant, women would rule the world. <laughs> I, I, I know this married couple in uh, North Carolina mm-hmm. that, uh, that I... I raid with and whatnot on um, games. I literally raid with them. I go out and I steal from. We, we pillage. <laughs> we, we pillage and plunder. Yes, quite frequently. We're but, uh, <laughs> the hu- the husband never like Someone's receives dying. sex. <laughs> he receives sex. He he never he never like really gets sex. He just waits for his. He wife. doesn't get it. He, he just, just waits. How does it work? I don't understand why I'm supposed to put this. <laughs> and she's laying there, he's like, "Right here, no, you put it. No, I don't get it." No, no. He waits till she falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> they both tell me this. Sometimes he tells me. Sometimes I like poke her and go, "Can po po poke?" Because he calls himself Po, like okay. Edgar Allan Po. Yeah. It's just everyone starts calling him Po. Um, it's like, can po-po-po? And po. I was like, do you really refer to yourself in bed as po? He's like, sometimes. I'm like, that's that's sad. <laughs> that's sad. It's like, And she never, like, wakes, wakes up, and it's not a mutual thing. It's just, fuck me, I'm tired. <laughs> 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 it's like, yeah, that's pretty much it. Sometimes yeah. I wait for her to fall asleep. Sometimes I'll tap her and ass and then do it. She's not saying how tired she is. She's just like, go for it. It's, it's not, it's not, fuck me, I'm tired. It's fuck me, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I never oh, thought that happened in the world until I heard about him talking about it. What, what, what were we talking about when I got here? Oh, um, I asked if it was, if it was a dick move as a parent when somebody compliments you on, on, the adorableness of your child. Okay. Like someone's like, "Oh, your 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 kid looks really cute. Like it's a it's like a newborn baby. Like, oh, your newborn baby looks really cute." And thanks, thank you very much. Like I just think I, I it's like really presumptuous to me. And, just, I, and I told I him it, it wasn't because you worked it. hard. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I don't get what you're saying. You don't like it when people. How say dare it's you something? say it's cute? It is. No, bad. no, no. Just when when the parents are like, "Thanks, I appreciate that." Like, oh, because it's like I made this. Yeah, and I, I feel like it's a bit presumptuous. I, no, I don't agree with that. No, that's what I, I thought. I was like, no, you worked hard. He's like, yeah, for that minute and a half. Where yeah, I had to have when, it, when you flip the corn and yeah. you were like shoving ba- your baby in people's face, like, isn't this cute? <laughs> don't you like what I made? I don't like that either. Well, that's worse. I, I, I agree. I that feel like Russell will just take his newborn son, go up to his wife. I made this for you because I like you a lot. Yes, I will. <laughs> I intend to now. I, I never even thought of that until you just said something. But yeah, my he he said he said uh, he said about um just you you should you should thank people when they they tell you your child looks cute yeah. because you worked really hard to make that. I'm like, yeah, I worked really hard for a minute and a half, and I just threw the rest of it to her for the rest of the nine a months. Minute and a half. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a little more than that. It's Nine months to make the child inside, yes. and then outside she has to feed the child. <laughs> I have, I, I have a, shut up. I have a super boob. It's right here. <laughs> we'll we'll, we'll just reenact the scene from Dodgeball where the guy's cleaning out the the tires with a with a sponge, and the trucker's just sitting there picking his belly button, <laughs> commenting on how he wants to fuck him in the ass. <laughs> You lost me there. I don't know what... <laughs> the movie Dodgeball? Oh. The, okay. scene, the scene where the really scrawny kid, like, is they're doing the car wash to raise money to go to oh, Vegas right. to, to, yeah. to do it, and, and he's, he's cleaning, like, the rims of, of, of cars, yeah. and there's big, like, beer gut trucker just stands behind him picking lint out of his belly button, commenting pretty much, like, inciting that he wants to fuck this kid in the ass. Okay. Got it. 
Oh, oh, we're actually doing that. God. Like you didn't expect that when he turned back around. I, I, I like how he's like, what it means. And Wes was like, I'm crying. Oh, God. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Yeah, I, I enjoyed you. that. So, But uh, back to baby making. Yeah. Uh-huh. Was there more to that? Uh, um, no, I just, I, I feel like it's a bit presumptuous. Okay. Well, I w- uh, something I wanted to bring up. Easter is coming up eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know when Easter is. I, I think it's April, I, April 20th. Okay. Yeah, it's like a month. I think that uh, we should do some peep jousting. Yes. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, my cousin and her uh, newly married husband at the time, um, they were very bored whenever they just weren't doing anything because they had just moved to Boston. <laughs> whenever they were unpacking boxes <laughs> or, or having sex, they were peep jousting. <laughs> Let me explain. They had just moved to Boston. They didn't know anybody. So yeah. aside from work, yeah, Bastion. 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 Richard Bastion. I moved to Sebastian. Sebastian Bastion. Why is it that whenever you're telling a story, everyone is completely, like, <laughs> like listening? I don't. I, I yeah. jest with him all the time. And it's, when I'm talking, everybody interrupts me? It, it goes, I, it I goes, jest with you. It goes back to the whole, I'm loud and scary. <laughs> it's the beard. It's the beard. I have a beard, too. It's just not as much beard. Do you have a scruff? I have scruff. My beard is growing in backwards. Like, like when when I comb it back, like back here is longer than up, up front. I'm like, I just want it to be front long. Front long. Right, anyway, <laughs> your I be long fat. <laughs> Let me explain. They they just yeah, you get close. So they I'm were, not stopping. Okay. <laughs> so they were really bored when they were uh, just moved in. Mm-hmm. So they decided, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna buy some peeps out of season whenever. Because peeps are out of season. I didn't know they had seasons. Easter season. What, out of Easter season. But they make different peeps. They got like trees and pumpkins and yeah. But peeps are originally made for Easter. It's so better with the peep fun. with the, the actual peeps because they're like three dimensional. Now wait, the bunny peeps or the duck peeps? Uh, the duck peeps. Okay. I thought they were chickens or whatever. Can, Can we try this with a real like baby duck? <laughs> no, because it involves in the microwave. <laughs> Let me get to it. What's um, wrong with you? <laughs> they decide, well, let's get some, let's get some, like, over-expired peeps or whatever, like, that were on sale at, at somewhere. Take them, put two of them on a plate, put a toothpick on either side, one on one side, one on the other side, put them in the microwave, and whoever pokes the first wins. Hmm. Peep jousting. It's something to do with your, when you're bored and you feel like eating blown up marshmallows. Yeah. Just don't show up on any, on any toothpicks. <laughs> we, th- it was like one of the, one of the the first. It was like the first twenty episodes. I, I think we did. Yeah, it, we did, did it at your at house. My house. I'm, I'm just hungry for peeps, and I want to uh, peep joust. I I have. You don't like peeps? Yeah, they're cheap marshmallows. Well, they are super cheap marshmallows, so. And they're covered in cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Purple cocaine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Purple, blue, yellow, it's fine. It's, it's good for fine. <laughs> we I, dropped it in the sand, but I hope you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it was the sand. It might have been the kitty box, but just just a joke. It's still sand. I, I'm I'm going through so I don't know if like I'm going through or what what exactly it is. But every time there's orange juice in my house, I can't help but to like drink the whole jug in one sitting. Yeah. And I'm just like I, I'm trying to figure out what it is because I've never like had this like happen before. Like I've never been so attracted to orange juice before. <laughs> I don't know what the I don't know what. Oh, is, is there some orange juice across the room? <laughs> but like once I start drinking it, I can't uh... stop. And <laughs> I asked my dad last night. I'm like, I'm gonna get my vitamin C on. I'm like, what does it mean when I when when you just can't stop drinking orange juice? Like you lost you, after you, orange juice. You, you, I like I drink. You moved to Florida. And you're just like. <gasps> when it's I start going to go to an orange tree grub, and you're like, I'm gonna have an orgy tonight. Yeah. I mean, oranges tonight. <laughs> and I, I went to my dad. And this was last night. I went to <laughs> orgy. <laughs> Wasn't he a football player? Orgy. Or yeah. yeah, he killed his wife for grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> Four J 
Or Jay Simpson. <laughs> or, or Jay Simpson. But this was last night. Or, I went to my or dad. Or Jay Simpson. <laughs> and I'm like, Dad, what does it mean when I can't stop drinking orange juice? He's like, you can't stop drinking orange juice? I'm like, no, I really can't stop. Like, once I start, I can't stop. It's like the Pringles commercials. It's like alcoholism <laughs> yeah. with orange yeah. juice. I'm like, is that a vitamin C deficiency? He goes, no, that's scurvy. <laughs> I'm like, what? Not being able to drink, not being able to stop drinking orange juice? Like, no, a vitamin C deficiency. And then we had like a half hour conversation about scurvy. <laughs> One of your comb back hairs is loose. Just thought I'd let you know. There you go. A comb would not do that. There's no way a comb. Oh, we're back that. on that again, are we? I'm <laughs> still thinking about it. There's no you way. You can drain your hair. That's how Alec Baldwin does it. No, I'm pretty sure Alec Baldwin used pomade. It looks like it. Like it. He or, or something. This is air. <laughs> he just paints it on. <laughs> he's got a he's got a he's got a specially made roller. He just like rolls rolls out some paint, just <laughs> rolls it out. I can't see what the time we're at. I don't know One twenty three forty three four six. Thanks, clock. <laughs> Thanks, clock. <laughs> okay. Dave clock. So I want to start a new segment on the show if you're okay with it. Okay. I'm just going to shove it right down your throat right away. Okay. And it's just going to be called Today I Learned. Because okay. oftentimes I'll be on the internet and I'll just be finding out interesting things like Reddit. Reddit. Yeah. Reddit, is, Reddit is the king of that. I, I find today out I what Reddit is. Yeah, no, Reddit. Today I Learned. Today I Learned. Subreddit. Except I don't read that. I just oh, okay. that's, that's just what uh, mm-hmm. that's just stuff I have it upon. And yes, I do use Reddit and Imgur. So yeah. There you go. Um but yeah, this this thing, this uh, web new website that I found out, it's called Spritzing. Spritzing. Okay. Um, it's I'm um, for it's porn. a new. <laughs> it's nothing to do with porn. So <laughs> you'd think that since nine of since like <laughs> <laughs> it's like a sprinkler. It's 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 just like a squirts website. Oh God, that is some high velocity <laughs> squirting. If you could. Like, let's see how far we can shoot it. Why do you keep looking at Stacy? <laughs> <laughs> no reason. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you... Spritzing. <laughs> oh, right, of course. <laughs> I'm very concerned. You do have your legs spread currently. So, <laughs> well, yeah. So does Kyle. <laughs> oh, yeah, so he does. <laughs> Right here! How does it work? I don't get it! I'm sorry. Spritzing! Spritzing. Um, it's a new. Instructables.com. A newly, baby. Discovered, a newly discovered method on how to speed read. What they do, and I, I did the sample because you have to pay f- oh, uh, yes. for um, like putting in books, downloading mm-hmm. books onto this website, and they'll like, put it in for you. Uh, but they had a sample of it where. It was just words flashing on like on like a, a small window, and it was and it was just through this it was explaining how it works. What they do is they have one letter in red, and that letter never changes where in position it is, but the words change. Okay. So if you like hello there, it'll be like the word hello in there will be in different positions, but oh, one. Yeah, they'll move according to how the to word keep is. The in the right spot. Yeah, to keep the one letter that they're focusing on in the right spot. And it turns out if you focus on that letter, mm-hmm. you can read really fast. Um, I was able to get up to 400 words per minute just by sampling this as they put up their messages uh, using this technique. I was able to get to 400 words per minute. And what they did was they compared it to uh, the first Harry Potter book, which is like 300 something pages. Mm-hmm. You could read that at 400 words per minute, I believe. You could read that in five hours hmm. just by going like that speed. Um, and they said that the highest that anybody's ever gotten to and was able to process that fast enough was a thousand words per minute. Wow. Hmm. So I thought that was really interesting. And yeah. if I had lots of money, I would definitely pay to just like put one up there just to see, put a book up there just to see what I could do. Yeah. The entire Lord of the Rings trilogy. Oh yeah. <laughs> the only problem with that is because it's on a, like a computer screen or maybe on an iPad or an iPod, uh, that would really hurt your eyes yeah. just staring at a screen. You you probably couldn't even blink. Yeah. How fast is it, oh, blinking your eye? I don't know. It's like it's like. Yeah, it's, no, it's, maybe not. It's, no. it's it's like hundreds of a second, like yeah. something. Now like I'm that. thinking about blinking and I'm trying to keep myself from doing it. 
I don't. I'm. I'm very good at not blinking. Me too. Fuck Was I out with you and Riley? Probably. And I, I remember there was Chinese involved. I was in a staring contest with someone. And and the, the the lady server person came up to give us our check. And I was just standing, like, we were at the ends of the table. And I'm just sitting there with them across the table. And she goes, what? And just, it was it was me. <laughs> it, was, it was you and me, and I still won. No, I, I didn't blink either. But she just comes with, what? And she, like, almost whips me in the, in the face with the, with the check. But, um... Another thing that that I wanted to uh, I want to say yeah to, uh, touch base on touch um, base. I just I just got stalked by Riley again yeah and that's why um, you said touch base <laughs> by base you mean penis <laughs> oh of course right. yeah, how um, could I have forgotten I just I just I just wanted wanted to wanted to hear everyone's opinions uh, SourceFed uh, had a article out they they conducted a social experiment where they took twenty <clears throat> strangers. And they just made them. Oh yeah, yeah I did they, see that. They, they randomly they randomly matched matched them up. Yeah. And and just made them kiss. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah. Um, um, there was like there was like a guy. I saw a gift set of it, mm-hmm. and it was like this this tall girl, this tall black girl with a huge afro, and this like guy in a suit. Mm-hmm. And they're like they're like uh, and they shook hands. And they're yeah. like, so should we make out now? And they're like, yeah. Yeah. Like that. That's how. That's how a lot of it was. Was. Uh, like a few minutes of just like awkward laughs yeah. and giggles, and was it just an open ended observation? Or were they actually testing something? Yeah, I was just gonna I, ask. Were they testing a controller? I don't know. Was it just an observation? Like, it's gonna be really funny. I'm kind of curious if that like when because they they had they had a video, I and I don't remember if they had an article. Or not. Mm. Um, of course, but like there was there was they had two guys who I'm pretty sure were both straight because like they just kind of like. Grabbed a hold of each other's shoulders and were like trying to keep arms like the part. They're like, "Okay, we gonna do this now?" I was like, "Yeah, I guess we should." No, and then they finally go, "Oh, okay, we're done." <laughs> and then there was there was two. I'm not sure if they were lesbians or not, but they really got into shit. And there there was a guy that it was just goes to show that, with like, and I watched a documentary about this mm-hmm. once. The difference between uh, gays and lesbians. Mm-hmm. Like, if a girl wears, like, a tuxedo, she looks classy. But if a dude wears a dress, he just looks silly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, that was Except most the... cross-dressers are actually straight. Mm-hmm. It's kind of freaky. Yes. But, like, there was there was those people, and then there was a guy who didn't look, like, he looked about, like, late 20s, early 30s, and, like, an older lady, like, prior to, like, late 40s, early 50s. And then the rest were just... They they looked they looked about the same age. Yeah. And from what I remember, like out of the out of the um ten sets of people, I think that's I think my math is right. Um, like three or four of the couples like actually went out on it on on dates after that. Oh, like, interesting. Relationships. Maybe that's what they were trying to do. I I. Something well, like I'm that. pretty sure that what uh, what my own assumptions of he- just hearing it would be is uh, disproving or proving the theory of a spark. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, that when, makes when sense. Pe- when people say they kiss, they feel a spark yeah. or fireworks or, yeah. or something that okay. says, "Okay, that we've connected physically in some way, shape, or form. I now feel a connection to you. Yeah. We should try and see this further." But like all of them, except for the two apparently straight guys. Yeah. Like they're just like, "Okay, should we? We should go." It's like, "Yeah, we should go." And then it's like, "Okay." All right, Rawr! and then it's like fierce makeouts. <laughs> and, I want to partake yeah. in this experiment. It seems like what they're trying to say is like, can we break the rules yeah. of, of of human courting? Yeah. So, did SourceFed actually conduct the experiment, or were they just reporting on it? I believe they conducted it. Interesting. No. But yeah, it seems like they're. It was just an observation. My, my my own hypothesis would be to disprove or prove the theory of a spark. Yeah, I, I was I mean, there's say no way. There's no way they actually were setting out to disprove prove anything. They're just doing it for entertainment to you know yeah. talk about it. Yeah. It seems like it would. There's be, no. There's no. Scientific it, 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 if there was, if it would to be an actual legitimate scientific test that would have all of the conditions met and yeah. and, and, and whatnot. That is the only thing I could think of that you would do that. Other but than no, that's what I'm. But not only that, I'm trying to say. But maybe um. 
maybe you could like test weariness in different jobs positions. Like, yeah. okay, these are these are three table jockeys. These are some athletes. Here are some other people. Let's see how well they mingle with those I people. Was, I was going to say, in, in it seems situation. like like they're just trying to see like is our method of courting like is it actually like beneficial to mm-hmm. sur- like survival at a so very what you're basic telling me is, is i can't internet I- internet date anymore i just have to go out and kiss random people yeah like that's that's, <laughs> that's like, what i thought about no, doing after I, yeah like are, are they trying to say like okay do we actually need to be like go through this extremely complicated yeah. dating procedure or can we just break all those rules and just kiss yeah. people yeah like is that we might be kind of we kind of might be like devolving like our social structure because then we'll end up like the nobos just rape each other because <laughs> it's kind of like it's kind of like devolving that whole you know the social progress this procedure yeah. that we have it's like Wait. You know, let's just go back hey guys want to go clubbing yeah all the girls no <laughs> not anymore because <laughs> we revert to, to to man's first time as we're calling that you beat the woman knocked her out and dragged her back yeah to I, think I was gonna say maybe we need, wait, maybe we need to have this complicated uh, courting it it, it 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 is far more beneficial to have it than to not have it because yeah. otherwise it would just it be, would just be chaos. I think, it, it would just be counts of assault and rape. Yeah, I think standards are too high. Yeah, in, in a lot of people. Well, that's, and th- this this goes back to the other. For week. example, there's there's a there's a girl that I that I know I used to be friends with. I don't talk to anymore. All she ever wanted was to date a cowboy. Mm-hmm. That's all she wanted. She has never kissed anyone. Mm-hmm. All she like. That is that is it. Well, th- this is if all I become, don't, if I'm not dating a cowboy. Yeah, fuck it. this has well, all become a problem with social structure because yeah. we now emphasize different looks on yeah. body yeah. And, and different segments yeah. and different people have different interests. And and th- different this, or, or at least at least my thoughts on it. Well, goes back to uh, the other week, uh, the um, Batman's Day Off. Yeah. Um, where where I and I th- I think I, I I had a lot of agreement with with it that that. Pornography is like destroying our, our outlook on people. Like, it's, yeah, it's it's like giving I, us a vision of of like how like the, the the perfect person. Yeah, but that doesn't really exist, and we're setting our standards to I want I want a thin curvy woman with a big ass and and big ass double D tits, and she looks like this, but she doesn't really exist. I, I agree to that, but pornography has been around since. Ancient yeah. Greece, Rome, yeah. Or not pornographic architecture. Yeah, it, it it has been a thing. I think the only reason why it is now detrimental mm-hmm. is because we've we've made it so. Yeah. yeah, it used to just be an open thing. Like, yeah. there's naked people in these buildings. Kind of like how prostitution used to be legal. Yeah. Like in the Renaissance, in Renaissance yeah. Italy, that was a thing. That just yeah. that the, was the, just a thing that happened. Yeah. It, it was. I I have sexual built up frustration. There's somebody here to take it out on. Mm-hmm. Let's have at it. I'll mm-hmm. pay you for for your psychological pussy. But the reason the reason is How does that make you feel? Best band name ever. <laughs> what was that hit song? <laughs> <laughs> Feelings in my vagina. Spot on. A A stars. Emotional with you. <laughs> Seven of Seven of I almost named last week's last week's episode thirteen. It, because it, it was episode seventy seven. Is no, seven and seven I, is I, I think I think the pornography no, thing kind of also relates to uh, prohibition. Yeah. When we made alcohol illegal, people just wanted to do it more, yeah. and it became more of a detrimental thing. I'm not supposed to drink this. I'm going to drink a shit ton. Now my liver's gone. Yeah. Now here's the thing. This is something you guys can say it's controversial, controversial, and you know downsize well, it all you want. Any, anything is, anybody says, any, everybody's got an argument. That's for. why I have a problem with telling my opinions in public. Well, we're not in public. We're a group of friends. Say what the hell you want. Okay, so this this is something that my uh, one of my English teachers in college told me. The white one snaps. So just, you know, <laughs> this, this, this was a guy from Cuba, okay. uh, and he was very opinionated on everything. He ranted on Dr. Phil and Oprah constantly. <laughs> he said they should be in jail well, trying to avoid Bubba. That that is not. They're they're very bad things to have a social structure. Is, yes. is TV idols that try and give you help? Well, this is kind of that's kind of what he was saying. He's saying his one of his opinions was because that America specifically was founded pretty much by Puritans, mm-hmm. who were basically the most stingy uh, people who were religious. They would not. They basically were like no fun at all. America was ba- was was founded on the structure of every man can can go out. Make his own plot of land, 
and do what he has to to survive, and nobody should be able to judge him for that. Yeah. And well, now, and is, now it's come down to is, what it is now. He's, he says, and I kind of agree with him on this. He says that because it was founded on like Puritan ideals, that's kind of like transcended into modern day, where like anything you do that's out of social structure is completely mm-hmm. taboo. Maybe because, um, maybe because America has had that religious, you know, upheaval, yeah. right? Uh, and it's and such across such a wide area and of you know so many different people. Maybe that's why, you know, the evolution statistic right now where it's that you know forty four percent of people only forty four percent believe in evolution. Of course, that was from like, like well, two thousand ten. I, I think if the founding fathers not to not to be a douche to America, but if the founding fathers weren't half assing what they did. It would have been fine. Yeah. yeah. The, the the concept of making uh, a melting pot for relation and or, or religion and race is, is great. It knocks everything that we currently have now out. Uh, there wouldn't be racism. There wouldn't be uh, hatred against Muslims because mm-hmm. of one thing that they've done. It would be everybody has an understanding, but because they half asked it because white man supremacy was was a thing during the founding fathers' time. Yeah. Uh, there, there was problems with blacks, and then when we tried to resolve it, there's still residual hatred on both sides because of certain things they've done. Nobody wants to let go of grudges. Same thing with uh, religion. Uh, the attack with 9-11, we now hate Muslims, when it used to be we were afraid of other things. Uh, I didn't it, even know what the fuck a Muslim was until 9-11. It, yeah, like if, if the Founding Fathers would have, when they originally sat down to, to make the country what it was going to be, not like slated half of the people that they had in mind, like White people, you could do whatever the hell you want. Yeah. Others, you can do what you want. Here, here's another thing. I think this is essential to realizing uh, how things are going right now with like people being afraid of the government and the government being like, ah, dad. Like that. Dad. I am the box ghost. I am the box ghost. Do it! Anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, the Founding Fathers basically created this this whole country system uh, as we know it, because one, they wanted to get away from the oppression of Britain, and they wanted to, but, but the thing was, they just they were like, I don't know if this is going to work, this is kind of new, it may not work out, so, and... Along with that, with the whole Constitution, Bill of Rights, and everything, it's not really, like, meant for today. Because the rules of then, like you were saying, with, like, the the different types of people and the different types of social standards, nowadays, like, everything is completely different from then, and it doesn't work out right. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying we have to, like, rewrite... We we can't, really, just up and, like, throw it out and start anew, because... That won't work. It, it would destroy. We we wouldn't. Everyone ha- now has their own agree, uh, their own their own thoughts of how to do things, which is fine. That's a great thing. If we were to collaborate and work together with those mindsets, stop we stop collaborate and listen. We, we 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 could do amazing things. But in order for us to like start again, we would all have to agree on something, and it, it's and not, not going to happen with all the cultures and religions and standards. It, of it, it needed to be done when the country started. Yeah. Um. And the only reason that they half-ass what they did is because it's, it's the same thing as what we do now. It's, it's social structure. They were afraid to def- to go away from social structure. Right. They used slaves because at the time that was they the didn't social norm. they didn't think them as people. Mm-hmm. They were a workforce. They, they were. Uh, uh, what's the word they did not want to be chastised for the yeah, belief property. that these people are also living beings. They should have rights and be able to do what they want. Yeah. Uh, that's what I meant by half-assed. Is, right. Is, 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 is they wouldn't. They they wanted to break away, but they didn't do it enough. That where we are now, we can't just start over. Now we have stuff like Scientology. The yeah. only way we can start over is if China declares declares war on America for our debt. I don't think that would ever happen. Soviet Russia declares war on America due to. I don't think that would happen either. Uh, nuclear holocaust. We I feel need, like China might. We we need to reset what our current government is by force in order to start again and make it better. It's not a good thing to have happen. Lots of people are going to die. But people complain that they don't like it how it is, but we can't just throw the Constitution out and make a new one. Y'all motherfuckers need Jesus. (laughs) (laughs) Burn Jesus! That's exactly what will happen. The Christians... 
being the largest like religion base in America, yeah. will want to take power because there's a lot of them. Um, other people that don't agree with that, well, everyone else, well, will will disagree with that, and then there will be feuds like there always have been because somebody has a form of ideas and somebody else has a form of ideas, but neither of them are the same, but they're along the same lines. They're going to want to fight. So the only way we could start again is to, to have everything destroyed. And, and I think I think there's one other option, and South Park actually touched on this: <laughs> is that we just wait long enough mm-hmm. to where everyone is one race. Okay. It, it'll like, it'll happen. It'll happen eventually. Racism is slowly being bred out. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. It's rednecks reproduce like crazy. They in, they inbred while we're breeding out. Well, well, we're breeding out. Social problems. We're we're the we're I making cultural problems disappear through children, which is great. But one family having eight kids, mm-hmm. and those eight kids each have five to eight kids, and those kids each have five to eight kids, and they all pass on the same belief through parenting. It's like that, idiocracy, and that it, and that's exactly what it is. And and my my thoughts are. Like I, I believe people are like way too touchy about things. That's what I was They're, trying just, to say at the beginning because like yeah. social structures, if you don't, if you yeah. go outside the social norms, it's all yeah. taboo. And it's it's everyone's just like overly sensitive about like the stupidest things mm-hmm. because I feel like it's the way that they were raised. Like they don't whatever whatever it is they didn't like about how they were raised. Well, I'm totally going to do the opposite. Yeah. So then they they do the opposite. And then their kids either pick that up or do what do the opposite, do, or do what their parents did. And now, now, like there's there's a couple guys over here, and a couple guys over here. They all think different things. Like I don't know. And also, we have shows about uh, we have reality shows mm-hmm. about scandalous preachers' daughters. Mm-hmm. Did you guys ever see that an advertisement for that? I, yeah, I, I, no, yeah. yeah. No. That, that is a show It, it has been a long-running gag or yeah. norm or something that, that girls of Christian, like devout Christian faith, are the most loose. Norm. Yes. It, it, and my, there's a show about now. My my dad has plenty of stories, which I don't want to hear. <laughs> Let me tell you, back in 87. It, 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 it's just, I don't know. The more tight people are on their kids. The it, more it, loose it, they're going to be. Well, no. Well, that, but... Yeah. Like the See, more, the more, I just made the, a beautiful analogy. The more time you, you are on your children, I, 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 I did. I cut a case. Well, I am no longer in, in my comical thinking. It is not all, all right, rational right, logic. If she stays white, she stays tight. <laughs> what? That's <laughs> one of the guy, one of the electricians. Oh, that's was, horrible. One of the electricians <laughs> that were is screaming at the other <laughs> True, because black guys have big cocks. So I've heard. Get it? Because it stretches out the vagina. Yeah, I got it. It's okay. horrible. <laughs> <coughs> I work in construction. <laughs> I'm I a make, lazy bum with ideas. I make pizza with a Jamaican woman who doesn't like milkshakes unless they have alcohol, alcohol in them. Sorry, go ahead. I don't remember. It's fine. It, we're done now. It, it, it's probably good. I think. I think. I think. I, I think, think now good. we have to have two separate podcasts. One where we're just us, and then another one where we're dressed up in suits around a circle. Well, I was thinking, I don't know if I'm ever going to do this, because I love this show too much. Mm-hmm. I want to, like, do a Stuff You've Probably Wondered podcast mm-hmm. with me and someone else who's interested in the topic. Who who are the, the, the two guys on Stuff that You've Probably Wondered? Bernard and Alan? Yes. Yeah. I just, I just gave them names. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Um, if you'll notice, this is how it happens. In the first... You should put a link to that to the channel so uh, people know yeah. what I'm talking about in yeah. the description of whatever. Because people watch us. Yeah, people actually. I got us three new followers. Nice. So there you go. You but anyway, should watch us more. Watch us more. Stephen Hawking. <laughs> um. Yeah. If you ever watched the first stuff, you probably wondered episode where I was like still getting like the whole animation thing mm-hmm. figured out, and I was just drawing random people. Mm-hmm. I had a person, like, as an example, as the stride of an average man. I mm-hmm. had a person that looked like that. Yeah. And then I had, because I kept talking about British and the British and uh, their measurements, because that's mostly what the, the, the video was about, I had a British, per- like, the, the, the regular British-looking person. And eventually those two people turned into, like, the main people. Yeah. 
Because they kept just showing up for no reason. Does anybody else want to wear a monocle? Or is it just me? I think wearing a monocle would be too difficult. Yeah. I really, really want a monocle. Because it's only my left eye that's really bad. Then you could use a monocle. It is not even really bad. My right eye is like, eh. My okay. left eye is just a little bit more, eh. So I want a monocle. But my mom won't let me have one. I'm pissed. Well, just break your glasses and put a chain on, on the one lens. That, that's, that's like the easiest way to do it is to keep the bridge above the nose and then the, the, the thing. Yeah. Make it stuff. Like, I talk about the show Radio Lab all the time. Mm-hmm. I love Radio Lab. Radio Lab is fantastic. I want to do something like love that. I love I your chat. I want to do something like that. <laughs> the movie with Weird Al. <laughs> in which I'm just like me and somebody else are just talking about a specific topic. We can ramble about it as long as we stay on the topic for however long we want to, but, like, have a specific topic, mm-hmm. explain a bit, and then just talk about it. That, I, I was I was actually talking with Steve last week. Um, Steve? Manti. Okay. Um, There's so many Steves. I don't Manti, know. Manti, Steve. Okay. Um, we, we were talking about, like, my, like, work history and, and like, going over my resume, because yeah. um, I just started work. Um, and I asked him if he remembered how um, how the start of this Oh, came right, about. you were telling me about that. Yeah, and he goes, no, how, I, I don't remember how it started. I, I remember it was something in, in group chat. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, there, too. yeah, there was, um, I found an article, or no, Ben posted an article about something. I read the article, and at the bottom of the article, there was another, there was a link to another yeah, article. The, that the actual was, article was something about t-shirts, I think. I think so. And the article at the bottom of this one that he posted was, Top ten things guys enjoy about sex or something. That which came out of cosmopolitan. Yeah, it, it was. <laughs> it, it, it was one I of them general like, like sex, top ten sex, things. Sex, 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 sex. Or top ten, top fifteen, top yeah, one, whatever. Top insert number here. Thing is, guys like about insert topic here. <laughs> and I I read into that, and I'm like, you know, I don't like that. I do like that one. That one's a bit backwards. And that, at, at the time, um, what I had been doing for, like, for like uh, myself, just to keep myself occupied at home, and for certain, for certain different friends, um, I would, like, make my own, like, fake radio show. Right. And, like, that. You yeah. You that to us in one of the podcasts. And, and I, I make, I, I like, I, I do, like, a whole, like, uh, disc jockey set. I play some music. I eventually started, like, Coming up with my own commercials. That's right. where Bobby Joe's Pancake House here right. alongside Route 94 and Hanover came from. And then, like, that's when I first started hearing about podcasting and, and like, did my research on it. I'm like, you know, I think it'd be pretty cool to, like, get a group of guys, like, three, four, or five guys, and, like, every week or so, like, take an article like that, not debunk it, but, like, just talk about it. Like, what do you like? What don't you like? What do you think needs to be changed about this list? And and go from there. And then you looked at that and you're like, that sounds like a fucking good idea. Yeah, and then Riley was in there. Let's too. do it. Riley was, he. it, it was like the Abu thing with him. Yeah. It's like, it sounds good, but I don't know if, if it'll like actually take off. Yeah. But if you do it... Like let me know um, and I'll, I'll, I'll. Yeah, we were. I just remember I was up to like one in the morning yeah. on the same. I was like sitting at the, my my desk with yeah. not like my parents had already gone to bed. And I'm just like staring at the computer yeah. waiting for your responses. Yeah, and everything. And we we basically came up with the show right then and there, and like a month later. Yeah, and like we've only met through the through the internet at this yeah. point. That's a amazing. month later, we act, we're actually face to face meeting. Two years later, here we are. Here we are off a dumb idea on a whim. Pretty amazing. Yeah. And we'll do this for as long as we want. Yeah. As long as we're both still interested in it and yeah. we can get people to care. Because yeah. that's why Lennon's podcast failed, because nobody cared. Yeah. But as long as we can keep getting people to care, we're good. That's probably another reason why you keep me here is because I'm just here. So why the fuck not? Yeah. 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 So... What podcast do you listen to? Um, I used to listen to Rooster Teeth. I don't so much anymore. I listen to Radio Lab a lot. Mm. Uh, would you, would, if I told you like to name five podcasts you listen to, could you name five? No, I don't listen to podcasts often, actually. Not really? Yeah. 
The, the only one I, I listen to our own, if that counts. <laughs> the, the only one I listen to is Rooster Teeth. Yeah. Um, uh, Toby Turner started his own I don't like months ago. I don't like it because I I used to be into his his uh, mostly Minecraft Let's Plays, and then he started doing some other stuff that, that I was interested in. But then, like, I got out of it for some reason, and I just couldn't get back into it, and I just don't really like... Well, the thing is, I really like listening to podcasts because yeah. it's a thing to do while you're busy doing something else. Yeah, I, like I, I remember there was a uh, Rooster Teeth podcast where they were like, "You know, the pe- the thing about our podcast is people like doing them when they're doing, like listening to them when they're doing laundry." Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I I do that when I'm in my room playing games on my computer. Yeah, I listen to podcasts. I usually yeah. listen to like the Quatrional well, podcast, well, which I've is done by Polaris, or Crimson, which is also done by Polaris. And I do it muting. Oh, okay. I thought you meant there was a podcast called Commuting. No, no that that that's what I, that's what that's what I do like because I I used to go to Harrisburg right. a lot and now I'm in Hershey. Um, that I I would download or like uh, when I worked for my grandpa before I started construction, um, I would download like a day's worth of podcasts. Right. Mm-hmm. And while I was working, I would listen to them. See, if my I dad, could if I could wear that. headphones yeah. during work, yeah. I would totally do that. Yeah. But I can't because I work in that's, service. That's that's the only reason how I got caught up with every single one of Rooster Teeth's video podcasts. Uh, okay. I started at a hundred, and I I'm now caught up. I I'm actually two weeks behind right now. Okay. But I'm I'm caught up to that. My dad does that with like the survival and farming and engineering podcasts and stuff. As he's crazy. Farming farming podcast with Farmer Dan and Pitchfork Bill. With Wayne. With Wayne. <laughs> Oh, yeah, let me tell you something. That's my first time doing comedy. We gotta talk about Wayne before yeah. we go. Let's let's fi- let's finish on that. Yeah. So Wayne's the finisher. Yeah, he is. Oh, 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 yes. Wayne. <laughs> Winner. Wayne. Yeah. So as you people know, we go to a comedy show, open mic night. Um, I go almost every week. Uh, Lennon is the one who drags us there. Yeah. Last week was the first week in like two months that I, I haven't gone. Yeah, I, I pretty much went because you went. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, there was. It's, since it's an open mic night, people can just get on stage and suck all they want. <laughs> <laughs> that one guy. <laughs> that one guy. That one guy that sits at the end, who was wearing the button up green shirt and brought his wife. He's terrible. He had the uh, the sixteen fucks. Oh yeah, the guy who just rants. That was the second time I've seen him on stage. He is terrible. This is let, before we get to Wayne. Let me explain this guy. This guy is his name Pete or something of the sort. Yeah, Peter or something like. that. Oh yeah, he's when, this guy. He, he always he laughs at everybody's jokes. Yeah. Though, so he's a good sport. Yeah. He gets on stage and he'll start out like this. So every time I go out to restaurants, I I see a lot of different people walk in and. Uh, yeah. their food, or they cooks their food, brings it out, they sit there with their phone, and all of a sudden, they take a fucking picture of their freaking phone! <laughs> I don't understand that! And he just goes for five, six minutes, yeah. just ranting yeah. at something. Um, I, I, oh, it was great, it was great because you weren't there. He was. <laughs> it was great because I wasn't there. No, no, it, it was, I'm telling you because you weren't there. He, he was doing that. And Steve was like shining the yeah, he, the thing. he, he didn't, didn't see notice. It. He oh, was man. too busy just fuck fucking uh, phones with the fucking pictures and your fucking Instagram. About a minute, like, about a minute before he was off, Lennon decided to count how many times he said the word fuck. Mm-hmm. He got to sixteen. Wow, <laughs> sixteen in a minute. Wow, that's that's worse than we are. Yeah, <laughs> but okay, this guy Wayne. Uh, we have no idea where it came, where like how he, he showed up. He here. got lost somewhere in between here. And yeah, because he's from Florida. Yeah, but he's probably from the north side of Florida. He looks like my my doctor, but he sounds like my uncle. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, he's he's <laughs> from. Doctor. I know he's from he's from North Florida because the rule in Florida is the more north you go, the more south it gets. Yeah. Um, we don't know like why he showed up here specifically. But he got on stage, uh, I think it was two, three weeks ago? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. He gets up and he, like, he looks like just a, like a dad or something, yeah. like an uncle or something. He walks up there, and we're like, okay, we've never seen this guy before. The fact that Steve Sudia said that his name is just Wayne, yeah. I'm like, oh, that's, that could be bad. Yeah. 
It's either really good or really bad when someone knows just your first name. Riley loves this guy, by the way. Does he? Yes. I cried. Oh, yeah. I, I did. And then I got really confused. Yeah, he, got, he walks up. Uh, uh, will you permit me to stand? Go ahead. Okay, so he gets up there. He grabs the mic and he goes, All right, so this is the first time I'm doing comedy. And everybody applauds and he's like, Well, let me tell you about my name. James. Yeah. That's, that's, he starts off with a song. That's when I started to cry. Yeah, and we can't understand the word yeah. this guy is saying. At one point, we hear guitar and AK-47, yeah. and everybody applauds it for was, no reason. It was, um, oh, I can't remember. Let it run it down. It had something to do with, uh, why are we, why are we sending our boys over to Afghanistan with guns? When music can solve all of our problems, so instead of giving giving our boys an AK forty seven, why not just give them guitars and, and, and sing the sing the Muslims to peace? Yeah, <laughs> something like that. The uh, I also recorded his his other set where mm-hmm. he got up and he broke all the ligaments in his leg. <laughs> it wasn't on set; it was before set. Yeah, yeah. It he, wasn't before set. Before we set, we just see him playing. come in with this one of his friends, I'm guessing, and he's got crutches and he just like hobbles in. And he still stands up and does comedy, but this yeah. time he just kind of rants. Yeah. He kind of he kind of pulls Peter and just like just rants about. Was well, he still incoherent? We still can't understand what he's saying. It was I'll, just ranting I'll of show like so. The, oh, 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 he's garbling the mic while having a I've been drowning for two hours. I'll show, it, I'll show it to you after we're done here, and I, I, I'll probably post it because Lennon suggested that we post. At least one example of yeah. every one sure. that we talk about. Sure. So on, yeah. on our, our on our YouTube page, so check out our YouTube page. And if you have any questions you'd like to ask the show, email us at groupcastnation at. G- We've changed it so many times. No, we only changed it once. I know, but I keep wanting to say group chat. Groupcastnation at gmail dot com will answer all your questions. Or tweet us at groupcastnation. Yeah, that's the at symbol. At symbol. Hashtag koala nuts. <laughs> oh my god, my phone is gonna not blow up with koala nut hashtags. Yeah, hashtag <laughs> koala nuts. Uh, have you ever gone to a comedy show? And if you have, tell us about the worst comic you've ever witnessed. Hashtag koala nuts. Hashtag, hashtag koala, koala nuts. nuts. This guy sucks koala nuts. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> tell, Koalas tell are us about dirty, dirty yeah. things. Yes. Yeah. Like they're cute, but like a mama. Koala will eat food, Mama koala. poop it out on herself, and then the baby will eat that. On that note, let's end things off there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear any more of that. <laughs> Koalas don't have strong enough digestive oh systems to God. eat actual then food. Then why don't they evolve to have better... St- well, they, they, they eventually grow into they a They have pockets in their bellies. They can totally eat like other things. But yeah, so, so they have yeah. to eat already yeah. processed food until they're a certain age to eat actual food. So today I learned that baby koalas eat their own mother's poop. <laughs> Say goodnight, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, everybody.